Yeah. Hello, Stephen. Hello. No one's here yet, but. Oh. Get proper with that. I didn't even set up the day. Oh, dirty van. Boop, 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 boop. Mind you, it is like 20 past 11 on the Sunday. Everyone else is probably. What is that floating up there, Steve? That's dirty, that old water, mate. Yeah, the thing is though, everyone's probably going to be nursing hangovers laying on the settees. So. Oh, I don't know, because it's January, isn't it? No one's got any money. I've got two people watching. Daniel Butler. What's happening, my old son? How are you doing? I miss you, Dan. You need to start work at another scrapyard so I can see you every day, because I miss you. Probably needs to come fishing. Morning, Ian. Morning, Jamie. Sorry about the camera angles. I'm um, <laughs> I'm in the technical stages. What's happening, everyone? We're all sat at home waiting. Yeah, Dan, I'm good, mate. I'm good. I um, I'm even better. I've just actually been given some scrap from a scrap man, <laughs> which was quite nice. He was doing an ass clearance, and he was um, well, he didn't have room in his van for it. So, Bosh! That's what we like to see. My rods are up there, look, looking really sorry for themselves. Somewhere behind that washing machine is my tackle box. Oh no, it's down there, Steve's got it out. I have got to get out my other my other box though because uh well it's got all my gear in it. Right, you're gonna just watch Steven set up for a minute. And I'll and I'll be there with you in a sec, guys. I'll be yeah, in a bit. In a bit. Um I don't want them rubs, I want my shit rubs. Oh this is very hairy this. With five people, what's happening, everyone? Nice. We'll be there, we'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> no, they wouldn't fit. Morning, Ken. How we doing, mate? What's going on with my rods? I think I've broken something. You haven't. <coughs> I probably have. But, past the point of caring. It's been a long, I've got a video going out tonight, people. So make sure you're around at half past seven. Um, and then I will be having a go for place this week. Beautiful hand dug rag work. Beautiful hand dug rag. So are mine, actually. Are they? Yeah. They're bigger oh. than yours. Not by you, though. No, not by me. Hell no. I've bent these. Bad. Okay. Just bent it back. Because okay. that's how we roll. I'll be with you in a minute, guys. Let me just set my gear up and get a rod out and then um and then we can have a little chat. Pop the job. The, the title says Bass and Flanders, but it's probably going to be whiting and whiting. No, it's not. I reckon it will. Does that Geomat extend that far up where you're fishing? Does that Geo? What's Geomat? Oh, you want about um thingy? Um, Navionics. Yeah, it does, yeah. Doesn't show as much detail up here, but it shows everything you need to know, basically. Navionics is brilliant. And no, I'm not, I don't get paid for them, I'm not sponsored by them, I wish I bloody was, but they, they, it's a fantastic app. Yes, Andy, it is, yeah, it's lovely and warm, lovely and warm out of the day. That's why Steve's got his summer socks on, not his winter ones. That's it. It 
does become a bit of an issue, though, when you have to move a washing machine to get to your bait box and your rigs. Hmm. I'll tell you what, let's, let's watch me do this. This could be funny. Wasn't as funny as I thought. Got it. Got it. Oh, that's cool. That is very cool. Steve, why haven't you had a bite yet? Uh, uh, give me a minute. I'm trying. He's not trying hard enough. Not trying hard enough. This was anyone that's watching that I haven't invited because. Steve literally rang me an hour ago and said, come on, let's go. So I was like, oh, who am I to turn him down? I've got some rag. What else have I got? I can see something else in your hand. You what? I can see something else in your hand. No, I don't know what you're talking you're about. You're going to be wasting them on the river. I am, because where else am I going to use them? I'm going to waste a couple. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello, my little friend. Hello, precious. <laughs> that is, yes, that is a live peeler crab. This time of year, that's £1.50 of anyone's money. £3.50? <laughs> it's 2024, mate, inflation. <laughs> so we've got, a few, we've got a few of these. How's my rag doing? Now, this is oh. 12 days old now, this rag. And it stayed in the same paper? Yeah, of course it has. That's all right. 12 days old. Beautiful. Big shout out to Medway Tackle Supplies. Now let's find a 12 day old rig. Found it! Oh, I'm not sure this is going to work this. I'm not sure that's going to work. Oh, let's find another. Oh, hold on, I'll tell you what I have got. Yeah. Oh, they're too big. No, that'll work. Yeah, found a rig. Found one. Problem averted. Luke and Gavin went to Br uh, to Chesil yesterday. Oh yeah. And um, I told Gavin, I told Luke to take him home because I need rigs. Get to yourselves <laughs> home now, because I need rigs. What, what, what are you doing out fishing? Yeah. Who, who said you could go fishing <laughs> yeah, exactly. when I need rigs, Gavin? So um, he's actually making them for me tomorrow, nice. and then I'm going to pick them up from Luke Monday morning, because obviously Luke works across the road. Well, I've got my rig, got my rod. Got my camera set up. What's happening, everyone? How are we doing? 59 people. What's happening, Sam B? How are we doing? Oi, oi. It's been a long time since I've been live. I would have just made a conventional video, but Steve said, no, let's go live. And I thought, you know what? Let's do that. Why not? It's been a while. It has been a while. I'm not expecting amazing numbers today, as it is no one watches my videos anymore anyway, so... If I, if, I thought if I get if I get um hundred people I'll be happy with that. Even though we used to get like three hundred on a regular basis. Mm. Three hundred on the regular. Let's go have a little two and a half ounce flatty lead for a minute, as we're only plopping it in close. Oh dear, oh dear. <coughs> Still got a bit of man flu on the go. Sam came to my house the other day, Steve. Did he? Yeah. Oh. It was nice to see him. Bet it was. I mean, I'd rather have seen Emma, but, you know. Well. Emma's nicer than Sam. Love you, Sam. There's always one out there, one in a couple. Well. That'll do. Fishing. He's away. No, I'm not. Do that clutch up. What's going on here? That's the 
camera. Do it one arm flick. Just down there. Splendid. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all we need. See if we can get used to watch the rods. Yeah. I'll set this other one up in a minute. I'll sit down and talk to you, lovely lot, for a bit. And I've got to sort my van out of it because it's a bloody mess. Oh. Oh, 70 of us, nasty. Right. My tripod's pissed. That's a bit better. Right, 77. Uh, hold on. Morning, mud muddy puddle. Um, Carter's fishing. What's happening? Nathan, mate. What's happening? Who else is on there? Tangled. No, no, we don't, mate. We don't want to either. Um. What's happening, Kojak? You can see my rods and Steve's rods in this frame. Morning, Craig. How we doing, mate? All right? Oh, nice one, Andy. Why don't you go swimming? Mind you, I don't suppose they let your kind in the swimming pool with kids, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Nick. Cheers, Kojak. Well, I've been fishing for 38 seconds now and I haven't had a bite. It's just shit. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you on the next one. Yeah, I have. Guy, yeah, I do like your hat. Yeah, I'll get lost with your hats. Who is it? I don't know, but shall I land it on the back of their boat? No, don't. Right? Who is that? Oh, I don't even know who that is. That's on the one hundred and five offshore. Um, I'm not sure. Tangled, probably with, uh, hopefully with one of my subscribers, John. Because I haven't got a sieve anymore. Mine has gone. That's a nice boat, that. Yeah. Craig, we've literally just started, mate. We've been live 10 minutes, and I've, I've, for the first 10 minutes, I was just talking absolute shit like I normally do, um, and setting my rod up. That's a lovely boat going past. It's got space on the back, isn't it? It's an offshore 105. It's a beautiful boat. I don't know who it is. Maverick. Charter boat. I've heard of it, but I don't know who owns it. It's nice that he's got some common sense and he's actually moved away from our rods. Yes. I mean, he wasn't going to hit them because we're only fishing in short, but... Of course you are. <laughs> and then you woke up and smelt the coffee, Stephen. I sold it, Tangled. I um I'd had enough of it. I'm packing it. Packing I'm it I'm off. packing it, packing it away. <laughs> and in the nicest possible way, even though he's standing next to me, it's not Steve's fault. But it's like I'd have to load it all in my van, then go and pick up my pal who was come with me, whether it be Steve or Matt or whoever else, then take it home. And get it all back out myself. It was just causing me aggro, and I was running. I didn't have no. I was running out of room to put it. I had it in the cupboard under my stairs. It's like going carp fishing. Uh, it's worse than going carp fishing. <laughs> um, it, yeah, it just got to that. It just got to that point, um, and I, I, it was just. I was. I was spending. It was costing far too much money to be going out on the sib um, constantly, trying to keep up with it. So obviously, I had a chat with Carlo. Um, and, well, as you know, the sip was mine, so it's, um, it, it was down to me, but obviously I, I spoke with Carlo first from Inflatable Boat Fishing, and he was absolutely spot on about it, and I will still be going out. Listen, by, by, um, by 
the summer, I'll probably think, oh, I want my Sid back. And then, and then I'll just buy another one off of Carla. Um, but having that Hydrus, I, would, I wouldn't use another company again. Don't get me wrong, I'm not slagging off any other companies. But I loved the Hydrus. I absolutely loved it. Um, and John, one of my subscribers, is an, is an absolute diamond. He's been in one of my videos. Um, he's actually got one. Um, and he said that I would. He said that I'd be more than welcome to go with him. So, uh, when when the time comes, I will be back out on the hydras, and and still doing whatever I can for inflatable boat fishing because obviously they've done a lot for me over a couple of years. And I will probably still be doing boat life with them um, in Birmingham this year. But yeah, other than that, that's that's about it. To be honest, guys, what I would love is a proper boat, one that I could take my family on. Because then them days, two days when I'm out on the boat and I'm gone for two days, I can take the wife with me and the kids. Again, I don't want nothing, I don't want anything that, that goes a million miles an hour and it's luxurious. Just something that's safe and something that maybe not all of us could sleep on, but maybe there's rough room for me and the missus to sleep on. And we can just go, go away for the night, spend the night on it. Just so I can spend more time with the family and the wife rather than Steve and Matt. As much as I love Steve and Matt, they do... They don't, they don't make a roast dinner. Um, they don't cuddle up to me at night. And they ain't no good at giving... I, I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. I mean, Matt does try, but I have to fight him off. You know how it is. <coughs> Where my woman's good at all that. So, yeah. I've got to remember it's 11 o'clock in the morning then. And not 11 o'clock at night. Um, morning, David from Northern Ireland. How you doing? Robert, when is my next COD session? Oh, mate, I don't even know. I got bored of chasing them as well. We've done it for three years, Robert, chasing them up down the country, and it's just, they're not really on my hit list at the minute, if I'm honest. Um, I like my flounders. Place fishing's next. I'm going place fishing Tuesday. Because um, I've got to go down the south coast for a bit of work. And then uh, while I'm there, I'm going to fish for the morning. Tangled. I think Luke and Gavin are going up there. Um, they did They did say about me going, and I am still unsure yet. I think they're going up next month. Possibly, but I'm not sure. Sam, you could, mate, but I'll, I'll be leaving at like 6 o'clock in the morning. I won't be back till about 1 o'clock one o'clock the next morning. So you're more than welcome, but I'm not sure you could do all that long. What's happening, Liam? How are we doing, mate? All right. I can't believe we haven't had a bite yet. What is going on? Honestly, thought the, white, the river would have been full of whiting. Obviously not. Well, that was a bite. Yeah, that was a bite. That was a, that was a very tiny bite, but it was a bite. Come on. <coughs> oh dear. What's everyone else's targets this year then? Like what's what's what do people want to catch this year? My, Robert, my PB Pike's 18 and a half. That's, that's a good fish. It was a long time ago when I caught that well before YouTube. Oh, to be fair, that was when I was a kid. So, am I going to beat that? I'm not sure. If we, maybe this week, because we ain't had no rain all week. What we got? What's the weather like coming up the next few days? Good. Possibly then, this week, I could end up up the River Medway for a pike. And if I do, then th there's every chance. Yeah, there's, then there's every chance. There's every chance. Steve can only do Wednesday morning, so I'll be probably be going Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> so we do Tuesday afternoon. I can't do Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm place fishing Tuesday. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not doing no nights this week. Have you seen the weather? Are you mad? It's minus fucking 82. You've got socks and a sleeping bag. I don't care. Off. I'm too skinny to go out in the cold weather. Piss off. 
I've got a bivy eater and all. Mm. I still ain't going out in this weather. You must be mad. It'll freeze. Literally minus four we got Thursday, Friday. No way. <laughs> Not on your... I think I'm going carp fishing with Richard Steele Sunday anyway. When? Sunday. I'm sure, he, I'm sure he messaged me. Yeah, last night he said about Sunday. Orchard for the day. Oh, See you there. Yeah. Lovely. Sweet. That's how, that's how it goes. <clears throat> What's happening, Joe? Mr. I, like, I like the way you went, we're going carp fishing the weekend with Richard Steele. <laughs> I'm sure I said I had, but I just I invited you there and then. He only missed me last night. Um, what's happening, Joe? Joe, I'll see you Tuesday. Don't worry about your MOT. You don't need it. That's the one, Steve. You've got to get out and do what you've got to do, mate. They're, um, I thought there'd have been fish already. If, if I'm honest, I honestly thought we would have caught a fish already. But, well, we ain't. And... That means there's not as many whiting in the river at the moment as I right. thought there was, we which can. is lovely. Which means we've got a good chance of catching the fish we actually want to catch. Yeah, James back the other night. Yeah, yeah, but then you are danglers. You might be England captain and Maddie man, but you're still danglers. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you there then, Joe. I wish the sun had come out a bit. That river looks like fresh water, doesn't it? It looks awful. It's like hot chocolate. The boy up there is kicking out the, uh, out the hole. Is there? Oh. At the end of the boat. Yeah. A Xander and a Coalfish. I don't think you're going to catch them in the same lake, but fair play. Oh, yeah. Coalfish, plenty of them up north. Yeah. Like on the north east coast, we had loads. They're not, they're not, they're like whiting up there. Um, oh, well, if me and Steve found them quite cool though, because we'd never caught them before, oh, so yeah, I was well happy with that. I wouldn't mind getting up to the Holderness coast, having a go for the cod, but also I'd like to catch a haddock, because I've never caught one. There's still loads being caught. <coughs> yeah, but it's like a 200 quid trip, yeah. just in diesel. For a haddock. And for a haddock. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm not, no, I don't fancy that. <coughs> I want to get one, but I don't want to spend 200 quid to get one. There was one caught in the Bristol Channel this morning, and all. Hey? One caught in the Bristol Channel this morning, yeah. yeah. Might be something we end up seeing here. Mm. Things are changing, definitely. Oh, yeah. Different species are turning up. 89 people, come on, we only need 11 more, and I'll be happy with 100 people this morning. Especially on a Sunday, people are out doing bits and bobs and... Would you, Joe, get home then. Who's going to town on a Sunday when I'm live? That's disgusting behaviour. You missed set your other rod up. Yeah, possibly. 95, come on, five more people. Let's hit 100. God, that went quick. Yep. What I need everyone to do, all 95 people, I'm sure you're subscribers. So later on, go on your missus's phone, <laughs> go on your kids' phone, tablets, whatever, subscribe. Subscribe on my channel that way as well. That'd be amazing. Because, like, there's 18,000 of you. If you all done that, that'd double it to 36,000 overnight. Wallop. See you later. I mean, it wouldn't matter because still no fucker would watch, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kojak. That's lovely, mate. Thank you. I appreciate that. Big shout out to Kojak, everyone. Absolute legend. Start, yeah, Kojak has, he's one of the he's one of the OGs. Oh, he's one of the OGs as and the kids. Change his name to that. As the yeah, OG, <laughs> OG Kojak. Yeah, you got to do it now. Well, Kojak OG. Yeah, definitely. I got me and Steve down with the kids mm. on the OG and that. Yeah. It's mad. You know what? I was fishing with Matt the other day, guys, and uh, <laughs> we was we was in the van on the way there, and we we something came up about our school because me and Matt went to school together. Hashtag OG Kojak from Sam. Nice one, Sam. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and we got talking about... So Matt locked one of our teachers in the cupboard, right? Him and his mate, him and Charlie. And uh, we were trying to think of his teacher's name all bloody day. And then when I look back and think how long ago he was there, that's like, that was almost 20 years ago when I left school. 
it, time's gone yeah. so quick. We say about, yeah, Steve's like well older than me and all. He was like more like 40 years ago. <laughs> but like when we talk about I'm 40 next month. All these new all these new words kids are using, OG and oh. stuff like that, it probably does make you feel old. Like my oldest daughter's 16 in a couple of months. Um, that makes me feel better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's because I was, I was an idiot when I was a kid, wasn't I? You know, I wasn't careful enough. But I wouldn't change my kids for the world, obviously. She's, um, yeah, 16, my oldest daughter. My target is to catch chlamydia. <laughs> What's happening, Mick? <laughs> um, she's actually, she's uh, my daughter. She's got long, thick, blonde hair. She hates it. She's been wanting to cut her hair for absolute ages. So for her 16th birthday, she's um, she's gonna we're having a big party for her and she's gonna cut it all off for charity. Um, she's she's donating it to a lady that my wife's sister knows. She makes wigs for uh, little girls little girls that have got cancer patients. Um, and it just so happens my daughter's called Lacey May, and the little girl who's who needs the wig, her name's Lacey May as well. So it's. It's going to be quite. It's going to be quite a special night, actually. So, yeah, we're going to have a big charity night. We've got some donations from some people and some raffled stuff and, and things like that. Anything to do to help this charity. Um, it's saying I'll be really proud of her for doing. All right, I know she wants it cut off, but it's sort of not the point, you know. It's not like she's just going to. She. It's. It's going to be for uh, for a for for a bloody good cause and all, you know. So yeah, sixteen and making choices like that, that does make me feel old. There's a bite. Oh, for you or me? me? Oh, Steve's got a bite. Look at the banana rods to the left-hand side of the screen. One closest to them. I need a Diet Coke in a bit. Oh, I didn't buy mine. I was going to buy some. You got a crate in the front. It was only to the Oh. I bought them. Oh. You're a nutter. Back up to 91 people. Come on, let's get 100. I've got a nice new jacket though. Same new. Oh, new to me. New to you? Yeah. What is it? Oh, Could it be you? Yeah, it's in the front. Oh. Kojak, I'm doing my best, mate. I'll do it. Well, not at the minute. I don't want to get a white in yet. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna give it last knock-ins. Listen, if I want a white and I know I could put a grip lead on that rod and just stick it out and a little bit further. Oh yeah, nice. Look at that. It was, it was nice until you wore it and mulled it. What, yeah, you what makes that? Perfect. Perfect. Never heard of it. It's nice yeah. though. Yeah. It looks the nuts, to be fair. Mine pocket, look. Yeah, very nice. Whole thing. Very nice. Is that, I bet that, does that turn inside out and all? No. Oh. No, it don't. Oh, it looked like it did. It's nice though. Yeah, man. Yeah, it is nice. Nice and heavy. Yeah. Lovely warm as well. Another boat coming past. Oh, I think that's that Rodman. Oh, that's um, that's Alan, I think. Hello. What's happening, Spa? The whiting fish are up. Go, Jack. That's what it's like, mate. That is what it's like. Oh, I hadn't had a whiting all year up until the other day. You'll see later in the video. I've done all right to keep you away from them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Cool that. Yeah, mate. Cool. That's another lovely boat. That actually looks like a... Uh, it looks like a nice boat, but with a, a bigger roof on it. It is nice boat. It's nice, whatever it is. This message is held for review. View message. Yeah, I don't know why that's come up. Ah, oh, well done, Sam. Oh, it just come up. Another moderator just handled this. <laughs> well done, Sam. Kojak, there's a little bro still go fishing. Yes, he does, mate. He does. It's just when I go and pick it, when I have to go and I have to go and pick him up and drop him off. Um, 
And when I just come down the river here, it's it's ten minutes. Well, it's not even ten minutes. It's like six minutes through the tunnel to get here, um, rather than driving all the way back up to my mum's house. John, oh no, I've been talking about you actually. Um, no, no, uh, no whiting yet, mate. It's actually quite dead, to be fair. We've only been here half hour. We've only been fishing 15 minutes. Kojak is lying. He's not always working at all. He, he, to be fair, he rings me most most weeks a couple of times, and he's never at work when he rings me. Jake, yes, mate. No, Sam, I don't blow you out. I palm you off. Palmed. Palmed. <laughs> To be fair, Jake, if you need some tips in fishing, this is probably not the channel to watch. This is just a piss take. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we do all right. We hold our own. We do catch some fish every now and again. Hell of a lot of shit coming yeah, up. Yeah, there is a lot of crap coming up the river, isn't there? Have you stuck both yours in short, Steve? Mm, not really, no. I ain't put one far out, but further than what we normally would. You one trade for cold fish, cold fish irritating for us at north. Yeah, Robert, I'll happily trade the cold fish for a whiting. Happily. Oh, yeah. Because at least they give up, they give a little bit of a pullback, a little bit of a fire. Let's bring this in and just get us a whiting just to shut everyone up. Have you had a bite enough? No. Oh. I ain't been touched. This means there's no oh, problem, yeah, no. either. That's lovely. I'm just going to ping out a little bit further. There's enough bait on there for a whiting. Oh, I've caught another rod. Okay. You know where that's going, didn't you? Yeah, straight over there. Yeah. <laughs> I do like casting carp rods, though. It's so easy. I've done that, so it travels. It's, it's covering it's, more ground. Yeah. That's exactly what I've done. That's exactly what I've done. Like you would rolling meat for a barbell. Yeah, Robert, let's hope the sea does. Yeah, it's exactly it, yeah. <laughs> JP, I am going to build a camper van. Yes, I am. My problem is, I want to build a camper van with the van I've got now. But if you look at it, it's not happening because I need it to actually earn some money in my life. To but, buy another camper van. To buy another bloody camper van. <laughs> but what I need to do, what I, what I've, my, my life plan, this is my life plan, guys. Um, when the kids are all grown up, a bit more, like when my, young, my youngest child is nine, when she's sort of 15, 16, um, and she can look after herself, she can look after herself now, but it's not like I can leave her for three weeks at a time. Um, you know what I mean. When she's that bit older, I will be converting a van. It's not gonna be amazing, it's gonna be livable for me and the missus. The plan will be to tour the country for a few weeks, probably two to three weeks. So it's not gonna be a massive tour. I'm gonna drive probably up to up the East Coast, I'm going to miss out most of it because most of it's a shithole. Sorry for everyone that lives on the East Coast. But it's a shithole for fishing. Um, until you get up to sort of Grimsby area, I'll probably have a quick fish in Grimsby, depending on the time of the year. And I will go from there up to Scotland, travel, do probably a week, stay in Scotland for about a week, travel in different areas, and then work my way down the West Coast into Wales, probably do a few days in Wales, then down into Cornwall, a couple of days in Cornwall, then to Devon, maybe a day or two in, Corn uh, in Devon, before moving on to my favourite place in the whole world, which is Paul, as we all know, Dorset. Um, sp spend that the last couple of days there before making my way back home again. Um, and then, if, if I'm still alive and, the wife, and me and the wife are still married and not divorced each other for living in a van, the plan will be then to stay at home again for a few more months, save up a bit more dough, make sure the kids are all good, and then shoot over to Europe. Jump on the ferry, go over to Europe, and maybe do a couple of months over there. And I'll be fishing 
when I can. Um, still making fishing videos, obviously, because that will be then the main source of income to sort of fund the trip. So hopefully, um, hopefully we've got a few more subscribers in about five or six years, and and our people actually watch my videos. Um, <coughs> and then yeah, that's the plan. That is the plan. Something to look back on in life and think, yeah, we done it. You know, obviously I had kids young. I had kids very early, me and the missus, and it didn't ruin our lives, but it just meant we couldn't go and do things that people in their early 20s normally do. We had kids to look after, so when they're in five or six years' time, when they're all that bit older, we will still be young enough to go and do them things, which is... And the kids will be old enough for them to... Yeah, the, yeah, own. yeah, exactly that. Like, my brother... Same, same with us, though. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like my brother's 30, one of my brothers, Jordan, he's been in one of my videos. Um, he's got no missus. He's had a lot of missuses, but he's too fussy. He's a good looking boy, to be fair. Well, he looks a bit Turk, but he's a good looking boy. And uh, to be fair, on any given day, he's actually got birds queuing up for him. But he's too fussy. He, 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 want, he, wanted, he wanted the girlfriend that's like a supermodel or glamour model. But they... But it's always dramas. There's always there's always something wrong. He's fussy, basically. It's his own fault. But he will find that girl one day. Um, but he's got a good job, earns a decent bit of dough. He's got a nice car. He's got everything going for him, really. But he, he, I think he longs for that family. But his mate went over to Thailand a few months ago. I think he got left some money by his nan or something. So he's been over there for a few months. One of his other mates ended up going out there to meet up with that mate. And then they kept pressuring him, saying, come over, come over. So before Christmas... I think Christmas Eve Eve, he jumped on the plane, went over there for 10 days, come back just after New Year. He's just had his 30th birthday. And uh, he's literally, he was only home for four days. And he's gone back to Thailand again for a month. He sold his car. He's quit his job. All right, he hasn't quit. They told him he can come back to it when he comes home. Um, he's just, he's gone to Thailand for a month. Sold his car for 10 grand or whatever it was. He had a nice little Audi. And um, he's gone over there and lived, literally lived the dream. Now, Thailand's not my cup of tea. But, for, I mean, for me, I'd go and live in the Highlands for a month, you know, skate fishing or something like that. It wouldn't be great for the missus, I'll get, I'll granted. But um, we've all got our own little dreams and little things we want to do in life. Um, and he, for them, 10 days was like a little taster. And uh, I mean, if anyone knows, Thailand's massive. There's loads of places to do, loads of places to go, loads of things to see. Plenty of lady boys to have a go on, if you're that way inclined. Um, Wrong with a reach around every now and again. <laughs> there, is, there is a little something wrong with a reach around every now and again. But again, whatever floats your boat, Steve. Um, so our, like a, a few people in the family were like, oh, you shouldn't be doing it. You're wasting your life and you, you're going to give up your job and all. But the thing is, the, the, the line of work he's in, you can just go and start for another firm and crack on, you know? So it, it don't really matter. Cars come and go. He'll earn the money to, to buy another nice car when he gets back. <coughs> to be fair, when he comes back from Thailand, he's only here for four days and then he's going to Barbados and that with my stepmom for his birthday, for his 30th birthday, um, which has been a big trip they've been planning for over a year. So again, listen, if you can, why not? Because if I didn't have my wife and my kids, I would be doing exactly the same thing. I absolutely hate where I live. Um, if I'm honest, I, don't, I just don't like the country very much. It's not fair. Oh, we've got 100 people watching. Thanks, everyone. I, don't, I think living in this country is just not fair. And I know that's a childish way of putting it. It just isn't, not, it's just not fair. The money you earn, you get taxed on. Then when you try and spend the money you've, you've actually got left out of what the government have left you, they tax you on it again. Then you try and save it for later on in life. And then when they give it back to you, you get taxed on it again. And then you try and give it to a family member and you get taxed on that, they get taxed on it. It's just like, what's the point? Um, whereas other countries are a lot different. Yeah, all right, we get healthcare. But then you try and get a doctor's appointment if you need one. It's not being funny though. Other countries have got bollocks and stand up for their rights. Yeah, exactly. Other We're countries have got bollocks. This and this isn't the politics show, but We're it's, too soft and they know it, it. we are far too soft in this country. And like I said, it's um, it, it just yeah, it, it's it's not fair. But my position, I mean, obviously I love my mum and my dad and my brothers and my sisters, but in the nicest possible way, if I left tomorrow to go and live, I don't know, in Australia or. or Spain, they wouldn't care. They'd be like, good on you. But the wife don't want to leave her mum and dad, which is understandable. It's just the way some people are. Um, so yeah, if I had the chance, 
I would definitely be doing it. Definitely. I watch, there's a channel on YouTube I watch called Cara and Nate. I don't know if anyone else has seen them. Just a couple. They've got no kids. They're American. Um, and their, their channel is basically they, they started travelling the world in 2016. They, their plan was to visit 100 different countries. And they, uh, Andy, don't you start me off. Get back in that swimming pool. Um, they, they basically, they, yeah, they travelled they traveled to 100 different countries. They've been like, since 2016, they've now travelled to, I don't know, 180 some countries. Their channel, the things they do, is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I watched, they've done a video, for the, the first video come out yesterday, they've done this year. And they do like stats of their channel. Last year, they said they slept in 180 different beds. Because they didn't actually stay anywhere. But they don't have a house. They've got a camper van that they bought. They've done a big van life for series. They lived in a camper van for a couple of years. Steve, how did you manage to eat that bit of weed? That was a bloody good shot, that. And you've actually sunk the weed. So you definitely know you've caught that. I haven't. Still there. Um, and something like that, Assuming for me, like. would be amazing. Listen, there's a lot of places in the world I have got no interest in going. No interest at all. I, I would I like to go to Australia? I would. The spiders scare the shit out of me. But I would still like to go. New Zealand's my one. I'd like to go to New Zealand. I'd like to go to South America. I'd like to go to America again, to be fair, because I've been to New York. I've been to Canada. Um, so there's a lot of places I would like to go. There's a hell of a lot of places that, don't, again, don't interest me at all. But, um, yeah, I would like to see the world, to be honest. One day. I am still young enough to do it. I'm only 33. But first, before all of that, I've got to catch his all the wine. Not only to mention, um, I'm going to need a few more washing machines to pay for this trip because <laughs> it's sad and expensive. Yes, Robert, I did see that video as well the other day. Cole and Alex's video, or Cole's video, Alex's video, whatever. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind catching some of them striped bass, £30. They're just exactly the same as our bass. They've just got stripes. Um, and they're on steroids. And they're, yeah, they absolutely are <laughs> flat out on crack. Um, and it's not like us getting plagued by 20 centimetre schoolies. They're getting like four or five pounders. Yeah. Shark. <laughs> If I pop down, will you be able to chat in a bit? Is that possible in life? John, yes, mate. Come down. The morning merrier. We're here till about half three, four o'clock. Because the wife's making a roast and I ain't missing that. So if you want to pop down, mate, you know where we are. <sighs> Plenty of bait. Yeah, bring a rod if you want, John. <clears throat> uh, where we going? Where we going? Where we going? Where we going? Alan Rick said, do you know what? Listen, helping out Ukraine, I, 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 it's not ideal, no. It's not ideal. But it's, I don't really mind that so much. I really don't mind that so much. It's just when we've got... And, and it's not everyone, because there are homeless people on our streets in this country that have made themselves homeless, and I've got no sympathy for them. Like, especially around here, most of them are just crackheads. And, and they're begging for a quid so they can go and buy another can of super tenants. Or, or, like the other day, I was walking through the high street with a wife, and uh, there was a fella sitting there. He had, he had a £120 pair of trainers on with a blanket over him. He had a fag in his mouth, like a proper one, not a, not a roll-up. It was a proper fag, a tailor-made one. He was playing music on his brand-new mobile phone, and he wanted 50p. Fuck off. Sorry for swearing if there's any kids watching. But, mate, you are taking a piss. He's probably going home, back to his hotel that we're paying for. No, I've started myself off now. I'm going to shut up. But you know what I mean. And the professionals up, up, up town. <laughs> yeah. They do it for a living. Yeah, like Steve said. There are, local, yeah, I remember seeing a programme once. 40, 50 grand a I've, year. I'll see a geezer. Um, <laughs> he, was, um, he looked like a tramp. That He was actually a millionaire, they said. Yeah. He'd been doing it. He'd been begging for 30 years. Yeah. He was foreign. I can't remember where he was from. But he'd been begging on the streets of London for 30 years. He was actually a millionaire. But he still walked around. People that take advantage of other people's generosity. <coughs> the scumbags. Yes, exactly that. What Steve said. Back when, when, when our owner sleeping rough on the streets because the local councils won't fucking help them. Yeah. 
and all the ex-servicemen that come out of service and they, they just get left in to rot in the corners. Exactly that. It, 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 it makes me fucking sick. Yeah, no, exactly that. Anyway, guys, we better change yeah. the subject before. Oh, I don't some know. Fish. Yeah. Uh, caught any fish recently? Is, yeah, has anyone else caught anything? Oh, last some pin white in loads of dabs. Most 28 done. Just hope the bloke got. Hang on, I missed that. It went off. Um, Hoyle, out last night, some pin white in loads of dabs. Most 28 at Dunge. Hope the bloke got his rod back after the tide came in. Oh dear. Oh dear. They're big tides at the minute as well. Yeah, they are big tides, yeah. That'd be in the shingle somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, the five pound note is inf inflation is a joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Billy the quid. <clears throat> what an absolute character he is. He's been in some videos. <laughs> he has been in some videos, yeah. <laughs> What's happening, Top Rods? I've actually started a bit of a new, a bit of a new venture again through YouTube. Um, I. Uh, the missus, she absolutely loves a charity shop, right? And it's not because we're tight. She she will happily buy clothes brand new. Um, she just likes buying clothes, to be fair. But she she's one. She loves a boot fair. She loves a charity shop. But anyway, I was I was just having to flick through um, YouTube. Oh, I don't know, a few months ago, and come across the channel. It's called Chaddy Pete. Um, Chaddy Pete. Chaddy Pete. His name is absolute. <laughs> him and his missus, right? They go around the charity shops, boot fairs, and things, and they buy clothes from the charity shops and the boot fairs to sell on again and make a profit. Which some people would frown upon, and like, oh, you're taking it away from the charity shop. Well, no, the charity shop's been giving it for free. They've earned their money. Exactly. So if someone else can go and earn a few quid to pay more taxes, then why not? Um, That's another one where inflation's here. Yeah. Have you seen some of the prices in there? Yeah, I have. Yeah, it's Ridiculous. disgusting. <coughs> so we, uh, I started looking into it a bit more, and there's actually a massive, massive thing people buying and selling, not just clothes. Um, 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 all sorts, toys, games, all sorts and stuff. So, uh, and the missus learnt about a, a site called Vinted um, a few months back and started selling some of her old clothes. And uh, all right, she wasn't earning any money. It was just she was just paying back some of the money she'd spent that week on clothes in charity shops and other places. And um, now we started doing it. We started doing the same thing. So, going around a few charity shops when I'm at work and when she's not. I don't know, doing what wives do, wash up or whatever else is they do during the day. Um, <laughs> Some of them don't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you're living with the wrong wife then, son, because mine does. Um, and, and yeah, to be fair, she's doing all right of it. Like, we was up, where was we? We was at the Workingmen's Club last Saturday night. Not, not Saturday, just gone a week before. She got 95 quid. And I think when she said the stuff that she'd bought to sell, she, she, it had cost her about 15, 18 quid. So I went to my first auction the other day. I've, I've always wanted to go to an auction. Now, people have always taken the piss and said I'm not like Del Boy and stuff because I've got all of my 10 fat fingers in 10 fat pies. But I'd always wanted to go to an auction. Does that make Matt Rodney? Yeah, it does, yeah, because he's a tall, skinny one. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, and yeah, I went, I went to this auction and uh, what did we buy? Oh, we bought a suitcase full of jeans that came with um, two suitcases. One of them was full of jeans that we earned like 100 quid on. And then um, uh, Fish and Dorset Live, your bell lover. There's no bells on my rods, mate. <laughs> definitely, definitely not. <laughs> How you doing, Shane? All right. Um, yeah, so we bought some suitcases. One of them was full of um, jeans, which was all right. It was a good little touch. Cut the pairs of Timberland jeans in there. One of them was full of Christmas decorations. All that went in a bin. It also come with a, a kid's cot bed, a car chair, and, a, and and the other bit that you put on a buggy, a cot. Like, it's just random stuff. Um, I bought some whiskey bottles, uh, big whiskey bottles that I have to save up money in, like big, big, like four and a half litre ones, which were quite cool. And that come with a load of lamps. Actually, that I was sold, but no one come and picked them up. I forgot about them. Um, yeah, so I'm going to auctions now. Love it. It's great fun, bidding. I was really good and all, because... I'll get quite addicted to things like that, and I'll just start putting my hand up. Yeah, 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 yeah. It might be three grand <laughs> for, fun, this is. for some. <laughs> yeah, and it like, it was good. Like I, I found a cartwheel that I wanted. It matched one of the ones I got indoors. I was going to save it for the missus, but I didn't. I weren't there with money to spend on fishing gear, so I said to the missus, "I said, look, I'll, I'll bid it up to twenty quid. It's probably worth sixty. This reel. It's a Shimano one. I said I'll bid it up to twenty quid. If I don't get it, I don't get it." And I'll bid up for 20 quid and it went for, I think, 32 in the end. But I'll, 
stopped myself. So I was quite proud. Well done. I was quite proud. I mean, next week I'll go, I'm going to go back a bit more. I'm taking the van next week. So you, you know how that's going to end up. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> the problem with it was, it was just like a general auction. There was wardrobes and chest of drawers there. So everyone was going, ah, oh, we could get them wardrobes and we could get rid of ours. It was like, there's nothing wrong with ours. Yeah, no, but I like them ones. Yeah, no, but there's nothing wrong with ours. So when I thought it was going to be me that was addicted to buying shit, it, no, it was her. But I, the number's in my name, so. Andy, I'm getting a big magnet and looking for old guns. <laughs> I, um, I thought about that as well, Andy, to be fair, but I thought anywhere there's guns, they would have already been found. And I know, we, I know we live in Kent and there's probably new guns every day, but, well. No, neither can I. I'm going to bring that in now and do it again. You're trotting. Trotting. Stick the float on, will I? Wouldn't do any harm. Is that a fish? I don't know. Got some weed. It feels heavier than it should be, but I reckon it's weed. No. Is that a fish? I think I've got fish. Got a fish. I think I've caught a fish, you know. What have you got? I think it's a whiting. Is it? Or is it a little bass? Mm, don't know. It's Red small. Worm. It's a life bait. It's a cod! Don't say that. No one go everywhere. It's a cod. I'm telling you, it's a cod. It's definitely, definitely not a cod. Yeah, everyone. I have caught a whiting. Pack up and go home now. Let's go home. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. You've got we'll a thing on the. Uh... We'll see you next week. Is that, that's not what I think. No, it's not. No, it's a bit of plastic. <laughs> which we will chuck in the van because we do not want that going back in the sea. No, little fish like that can choke on something like that. Yeah. Oh, John to be a fine thing. I mean, um... <laughs> yeah, look. Whiting. He's even got some ragworm left in his gob. So we're going to put him back. Nice and gentle. Yeah. Yeah. Gone. He swam away. Definitely swam away. Upside. Upside down. <laughs> he swam away. Listen, if he dies, the seagulls will eat him. That means it feeds the seagulls. It's all a great circle of life. We right, watched Elton. the Lion King, didn't we, everyone? <laughs> all right, Elton. Oh, look at that. Look. That is absolutely stunning. Beautiful. 12 days old, that is. Really lovely rag, they are. Oh, they're nice. My one's bigger than yours, though. <laughs> That's the other rat. <clears throat> right, there's got to be some fish close in, Steve. Well, I've got a free hook river on at the moment. and Free hooks? Yeah. You greedy bastard. Yeah. I've got Lug Rag and Maddie. Just feel, it. Just feel that lead down. Feel that lead down. Yep, yeah, straight on silk. Nice. Buried itself, lovely. I actually did feel that down and all that one. <laughs> you gonna set the other one up? No. Nah. You're not. I only need one, don't I? Do you not know where I am? <laughs> Hold on a minute. To be fair, I'm using two hooks, one rod, and I've caught more fish than you. Mm -hmm. So it just goes to show. You only need one rod. Right, hold on. How are we getting on here? Who have I missed? Janice, ah, oh, didn't even see you. You've already said bye. <laughs> Thanks anyway. Did you say bye? Or did you say no? She definitely said bye. Oh, all right. <laughs> Thanks for watching anyway. Andy, yes, grain is good for fishing. I done a video there the other week. What do you mean? It means you didn't watch our video. So this is the problem. Even my pals don't watch my videos. Shocking behaviour. We got ninety-two people watching. Well, you did do a bit Guys, come on, there's 90, 93 people watching and only 62 likes. Let's get them likes up to the same amount of viewers. Much love. It won't get that far because Janice has gone. Yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> I don't even know. I've never seen Janice on here before. <laughs> Happy New Year, Sam. I hope you're well. I haven't seen you for ages. I'm getting cold. I might put my gear on. 
No, not that gear, you bloody pervs. <laughs> it's got his mancani in the front seat. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, nice one, Sam. At least you're paying some money to the government so they can keep spending it on shit we don't need. Fair play to you. To be honest, Steve, I think you're letting the team down, mate. I have two, two on the bounce. I'll tell you what, look, that's better. You can see Stephen and all. Can't have two on the bounce. We never blank here. No. That's why we come here. Because mm. it's easy. You ain't got to get out of the van. Yeah, not really. <laughs> we ain't got to walk anywhere, have we? <laughs> we might have to try a bit of peeler in a minute. Oh, I can't be asked. What? He is... He's doing all right. So the thing is, I don't know, how, I don't know if they're going to last until Tuesday when I really want them. No, I'm not freezing them. I've got some in the freezer. You'd rather waste them and kill them? No. Oh. Oh, I've got some janky rag in there that was a bit... A bit... Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four. You what? Is it gone? It will be at any second. There's two there now. Has he got enough socks on? <laughs> he loves a pair of socks, go Steve. On. How many pairs you got on? Go on. Is it three. just one? He's got three three pairs of socks on. Yeah. Three pairs of socks. I don't like my toes getting cold. He's got three pairs of socks on, and then he's got them sheep on each feet. <laughs> no, that's including them. So two pairs of socks and a, sh a sheep on each feet. I'm actually a size five, not a seven. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just trying to two sizes too big, just to fit his socks in there. <laughs> nice one, Jeremy. <sighs> yeah, we've got no wind here today, not really. There's a very slight breeze, but I think it's like two mile an hour, isn't it, Steve? Yeah, There's nothing. Yeah, well, it's gusting like ten, but... Yeah, oh, yeah, not here. It's not, not where we are. We're, we're nicely enclosed. West westerly, so it's kind of... There. Kind of that way. Mm. Can I hear a vehicle? No. A vehicle? <laughs> Mickey Rap because he's bad. <laughs> And you know I haven't fished the lakes in Stoke because they're member lakes. Steve, who runs them lakes in Stoke? I think they're um, Kingfishers, part of Kingfishers, oh, or whatever Kingfishers is called now. I would like to fish them. Is that Josh's brother? Um, no, no, that's Andy. No. Mm. These ones are in grain, aren't they? Yeah. Do you know how many... I'm off my list this year. Robert Cameron. Oh, Bite Adventures. Does them. Um, I don't, I, I've never done any. I've never been on any of them. Um, I know actually Ant Hills does on Peganina. He does tuna trips. Um, and that's only if they open the tuna fishery this year, which I think they probably will. Um, I can't I see why they... I reckon everyone off the shore this year. I reckon everyone off the shore, yeah, definitely. 
And it's going to be one of two people that catches it. Yeah. Well, it's going to be one person, and it's going to be Gareth Griffiths. <laughs> it's definitely going to be Gareth. Um, well, there is one other. Who? Your mate. <laughs> if you're talking about who you think I'm talking about, he ain't my fucking mate. <laughs> Certainly not. We don't name names. Yeah, Robert. There's, there are there are. I think there's 15 boats that are allowed to catch the tuna legally. Um, yeah, but even then, they've only got a license that they're allowed to catch so many a year. No, they can catch as many tuna they want, but they're not allowed to obviously keep them. You're allowed the ones that are allowed to keep them are allowed to catch one a day, one per day. Um, like Ant's little boat. Um, there is another bloke. No, let's not do that. No. Forget that. No, not today. I can't be asked. Where are all the bloody fish? I honestly thought we would have been like constant by now, like annoyingly constant. Oh, I reckon someone's standing behind my van. I swear I'll keep hearing footsteps. <laughs> I reckon these northerlies have killed it, you know. We've had a week of them now, haven't we? Talking to the flight system, I see. I was making the other day, and the river was making that look low. Yeah. You think it's drained off at Allington, isn't it? So, that, I mean, they can control the levels quite easily. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we ain't had no rain, well, we ain't had no proper rain for about a week and a half, have we? No. Now. I've got like totally tracking bombs. Yeah. Oh, back up to 100 people. Does it run with fish cocker? <laughs> <laughs> Good old Sam. Good old Sam. No, Sam, it doesn't. No, no, definitely not, mate. No. It does rhyme with I like to pimp out my wife. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say that. I'm not getting a bite, people. That's me putting my trousers on. Um, what's happening, Jay? How are we doing, mate? Um, where am I fishing? Eddie, I'm fishing on the River Medway in Kent. Literally, it was the biggest spare of the moment trip. Steve rung me about half hour before we got here and said, you fancy coming out? And, well, my roast dinner wasn't ready, so what else was he going to do? Sit there and watch telly. Sit here and watch motionless rods. Mo yeah, sit here and watch, yeah. <laughs> At least I get to talk to you lot for a bit, because it's been ages. Oh, 101 people. Happy days. If we got 101 people... Can we get to 101 likes, guys? Or at least 100 likes. Them buildings, for people that don't know... You can't... Hang on, I'll show you. Hang on, let me just put the trousers on properly. Whoa. Lift the old thing up there. So all these buildings over here, I don't know where well you can see them. Not the tower block. All these buildings from 
from about there all the way along there and then these uh shipyards and this other big building and then ones with the white roofs that's all chatham dockyard historic chatham dockyard where um lots of stuff happened back in the day like loads of that, stuff i believe is actually the ropery yeah that is the ropery yeah. Of the length of it. yeah that is that is, or the is that one it's uh, whatever it's, it's one, one of them. them yeah um but they still make rope today they do indeed um bit of history there bit of history yeah, yeah they, they also filmed call the midwife there in places yes they um did. what else did they do They've done other, they, they filmed other stuff there as well, but I can't remember what. They actually thing. filmed Call the Midwife, and I didn't know that. They filmed over, can I zoom in? No, I can't. I can, but it's going to muck me thing up. Over there, along the Medway Council building, that building you can see there, used to be where, where I used to fish as a kid all the time, because I grew up fishing this river. Um, I didn't realise they filmed Call the Midwife over there, because obviously I don't really watch it, it's not my cup of tea. Um, I see it on BBC One the other day and I see them riding their bikes along and I was like, oh, I know that place. And the wife went, oh yeah, that's why they filmed Corn Midwife. So, mm. is anyone watching? <clears throat> I wouldn't have thought actually anyone here is watching that watches that, but you never know. You're watching me, so. This suit that from Midway Tap Surprise I got for Christmas is lovely. Where's the best smooth out fishing? Because there's another one to go for the list. Um, Robert, uh, down here, there's loads of places to catch hounds. Loads of them. Um, all the way along the North Kent coast, really, when they're in. Up your way, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just trying to think they'd get him Norfolk. Um, or maybe on the west coast. David, that doesn't work. <laughs> you can only press it once. <laughs> Dongle, that's not a bad shot. Steve, yeah. how about we live bait a whiting for a seagull? <laughs> James catches seagulls. So do I. I think you, I reckon you could get demonetised for that. Robert, then North Kent Coast. Again, the problem with that is the North Kent Coast is a bit like me going to the Bristol Channel. You only get a few hours fishing, really. Um, so like where we go down to Reculver and down there, I suppose you could fish it all the way up and down if you wanted to do a load of hours, but they only sort of come through. They might be there for an hour and then they'll disappear again. And and to be fair, most of the time, it's different times of the tide. Um, but yeah, North Kent Coast, I would say from Urn Bay to Margate, you've got a chance of catching hounds. To be fair, we had some hounds up the river this year, but not very big ones. Also places like Celsius and Bracklesham, on the south coast can be really, really good for them. Um, Pagham's good for them. Uh, there's plenty of that. Chesil's another good place for them when they're about. Um, but yeah, we like for us, we get them. I sit on that doorstep. The cold was probably half hour, forty minute drive for us. Um, so we don't really need to go to the nicer places to get them. We can just sort of fish locally ish. We're quite lucky with hounds and the summer fishing. I've had Boltine out of the river this year, Reese. Oh, is it? Oh, we are, Robert. Ian Cook said there's plenty of fish, twenty pound on the on the holding this coast. Actually, yes, I, I remember seeing them last year on the <coughs> Facebook groups. I've had Boltine out of the river this year. Yeah, we're talking about real hands, not baby ones. Seven and a half was my biggest. Baby ones. If five, not, if five, five minutes from home. If they're not, if they're not <coughs> fifteen pound, I don't count. Five minutes from home. That still don't count. Still, right. I wouldn't rather catch a whiting, but. Oh, yeah, men are straights is good for the hounds as well. It's, it's also, if you're over there fishing for hounds, then you can go up to Anglesey and fish for the taupe and other species, which I'll be doing again this year. I've got an holiday this year, actually, to North Wales, to uh, pull from a dog with the missus and the kids. I shall be taking my rods. And whilst they're sleeping, I shall be chasing um, big smooth hounds with teeth.
Mate, where are these bloody fish? I don't know. What is going on? I might have to try some Peter in a minute. You said that ten minutes ago. Yeah, I know, but you know where it is, Steve. <laughs> I'm going to start peeling the peeler. I'm going to nick one in a minute. If you nick half of this one, I'm saving the others. I've only got three left. Oh. I can hear a vehicle. Is it John? I think so. What is it? Um, Paul. Yep, it's John. Of these. Yeah, nice. Oh. Cheers, mate. Hello, mate. Oh, it's right. oh, cold. Hello, you doing, mate? You alright? How are you doing? Alright. Yeah? Yeah. Bring a rod? Nah. Oh. I, don't, I don't blame you, you're not missing anything, John. Oh. It's, um, it is pretty, pretty pants. Yeah, it's that time of year, isn't it? Uh, Robert, I'm getting sick of cod. That's all I've had. 128 cod this year. Nice. Six doubles. But they're just the same. I need to change things up. Robert, stop commenting now because you've wound me up. <laughs> come, down here, come down here and catch some white. Yeah, come and get some white in then. Greedy git. Oh, bloody hell. I think this time he always left his pins now, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty crap. Oh, that's what I had. I've managed a little pin, but that was it. To be fair, I'm, I'm fishing close in for a flounder, but... Sunday night. No, yeah. No. Yeah, muddy puddle I saw that earlier as well. Yeah, we'll get to, yeah, between five woods the other night. There was only one flounder and that was actually on the corner. Yeah, I've but I thought they are. Quite rare up there. <coughs> How you been, John? All right? Yesterday, well, it's better done, so. Oh, well, that's good news. Yeah. You've been out or not? Well, you see, I got out last Saturday, didn't it? Down I? Yeah. Last time I've been out. Yeah, you working this week? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> the have started coming out already, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, we went down there looking. We went to Eastbourne for them the other day. I didn't get a place. We had dabs. But that was that was caught that day on uh, the only reason I went to Eastbourne was because there was a couple of turbot there the other day in a match mm. last week. So I went there looking for the, and there was a place there as well. But we went there, me, Matt and Joe went there. We didn't get didn't get no place or turbot. But um yeah there was there was uh a place yeah. called Brighton. So I'm going Tuesday. I would have gone down there yesterday or today, but I've got to go down there Tuesday anyway, so I just thought I might as well wait. I think March is more the sort of time when they bag up on them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Well, maybe middle of next month, if we get a couple of warmer days and not obviously nice calm weather, we'll be alright. But at the minute, it's, uh, it is still a bit cold. Nice, fresh pea of crap. It's a waste using it here, but oh well. Yeah, we're written all over it. I don't think there's, I don't think it's too early for him. Yeah. I think it's too early for him. Let's stick a bit out there and see what happens. That rag is not getting touched. No. At all. No, oh, don't do that. Well, I'm just going to whip this bit of crab on. 
leave the rag on it. I'm going to, no, I'm going to take the crab off because I want to see if the rag works on its own. Uh, the crab works on its own. I'm going to leave that bit up there. <coughs> top that top bit up with that bit on the top. Oh, that's fine. There's loads on there. Where's my bait and my stick? Yeah. Let's do it over here. Put it. Do it in shot. I couldn't see anyway. It's too far away. I mean, not bad. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing an eel, to be fair, but I don't think I'll see one this time of year. There's plenty of straps in the river. Let's give that a go. Wipe your hands on your hood, because why not? Yeah, two and a half hours. But I'm only fishing there. Oh. What's up, Lily? Yeah. Yeah? When we go out, take a boat out down shore in there. Yeah. I mean, once a once boat's in the car, mm -hmm. it's on. It takes up all of the car, mm -hmm. so there'd only be like two spaces. Mm -hmm. So I'd probably have to like, book a day off in the week, yeah, and, and go down there with you. Yeah, that's and, right. you show me, and, we, and I'll probably go back with Oliver. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, listen. <laughs> and, unless we take your van, right, uh, we've got three seats. We're, listen, we're more, if, if we take, take the van, mate. If we take your van, I'm happy to sort of go halves with a petrol with you. That's, that, listen, well, I'm happy to take the van, mate. I might be able to take the van. And again, <laughs> I, I've done. I don't expect you to take me all the time, mate. Just if you wanted me to come out with her, I will happily come. Definitely, definitely, definitely come out with her. Well, it worked um, both ways, Rob. Because you, you, you'd be, you'd be handy bloke showing me where everything is. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I reckon start off with New Haven first. I mean, I don't know where Shoreham is, so you, I think you yeah, know. Yeah, where... yeah, I'm down here all the time, doing the job. But you know where to go to launch and everything, don't you? Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, New Haven's a nice place to launch and all. It's nice and easy. Um, all right, got paid for parking there, but it's just one of them things. It's just it's what it is. But New Haven, you ain't got that far. So out, out of the river, round, round the back of the pier, and they're there. It's lovely. It's nice, easy fishing. That's been out since we got here. Has it? Looks like something sucked it off the end of the hook. Where is it you went, where you really bagged up on it? Like, the place to drop it? Was that short? New Haven. New Haven. Oh, I thought that was short. No, New Haven. We've had, to be fair, we've done it at New Haven. At, they're, they're, they are at Shoreham as well, but that New Haven mark is literally 10 minutes when you're there. You've got to go out the river nice and slow. You get past the thing, you can go a little bit faster, and literally just go around the corner, anchor up, and then you're on them. Um, we had we got Gurn up there and all sorts. Okay. But then I'll show you Shore and one as well. Um, they're all, yeah, it's all the same. It's all, um, it's all pretty good fishing. Give it another month or so, it'll be, it'll be loads. They'll be, they'll be there now. But it's bloody cold sitting on a boat in this weather. Yeah, it'll be it fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really cold, mate. Really cold. The worst concern is putting the wheels on and off, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's not. It's, no, my worst concern is when you're here somewhere like this or on a beach and you're cold, you're walking up and down the beach, you yeah. can warm yourself up. When you're on a boat, you can't move. So you just, it, you, you, the cold sets in and, and once it's in, it's it's in. Yeah. Dongle because that, there's no fish there now, but the tide is coming in. So hopefully they will move along. There's no point in sticking it out in the middle because it will just be whiting and I'm not really here to catch the whiting. I honestly think if I set up another rod and stuck it out in the middle with a bigger lead on and sat there in the top, I'd have probably I'd probably have double shots of whiting. Um, and, I, and that's not what I'm really here for, to be honest. It use up on my bait quick. Um, not that I'm worried about using my bait up, but it, it's, yeah, I'm not here to catch whiting. I'm, I'm really hoping for a flounder or a bass. And we, we could have gone up. We could have gone back where we was the other week. We went and done a bit of bass fishing, but we, we, and we only had small ones. To be fair, we should have gone there. The reason we like this place is because I can go live. I don't have interruptions. At the other place, yeah. you get loads of people come past with dogs. and It's all nice. They want to talk to you and ask loads of questions. But when you're sitting there talking to your phone, you look like an absolute weirdo. <laughs> and here, no one can walk past me because I'm locked in a compound. <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> apart from John, the weirdo. But no. <laughs> But no, I invited John. In his, he, well, he don't even need an invite. He can come whenever he likes. <coughs> if we if we had planned this a couple of days ago, John, I would have invited you properly. 
but literally Steve rang me up half hour before we came. I was like, should we go? And I said, oh, let's go. And here we are. I did invite, I messaged Simon, but I don't think he got it. He's busy building his shed and stuff. Oh, actually. There we are. Oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, we're on 300 miles north. <laughs> now, why are we coming? Why are you close? Yeah, John, there's a seat there, mate. It ain't great, but it's a seat. Can you um, pick that up an air for me, please, sir? Thank you. Oh, I wouldn't go that far back, John. He's only going to under arm flick it. That's all he could do anyway. Plop. Robert, my PB bash is around seven pound. Morning, Stephen. From the shore? No, no, not from the shore. From a boat. Oh, that oh, don't really the, count, that's does that's it? That's oh, my. Oh, sorry, my P, my PB bass from Come the shore on. is about. It's just over six pound. Again, that doesn't really count because I caught it somewhere where I shouldn't have been fishing. But then, if you look at it like that, then the British record PB bass shouldn't stand, but right. it does. Yes. That was another dig, wasn't it? Yes. That's like the third yeah. one already. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Nod, nod, slap. Oh, I had a nice one at, um, I did have one just over five on the Bristol Channel at um, Seven Beach a couple of years ago when we were cod fishing. That was a nice fish. That was unexpected. I wish it was a cod, to be honest, but it wasn't. £1.6 is mine. What, bass? Yeah, had last year with um, Luke and Gav. Well, the day he cut his hand? No. Oh. Uh, he, we were out of, oh, hello, Oh, you were at, yeah, you was out that when you caught that, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Down the south? Yeah, yeah. Nancy. What about you, John? Four and a quarter. Was that from the beach? Yeah, Dun Dungeness. Yeah. In the World Dab Championships. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and it didn't count because it weren't a dab. <laughs> yeah. If it, was a normal, if it was a normal competition, I'd have probably won. You yeah, know? you put, yeah, you would have won biggest round for for, for sure. It's That's a lovely fish. Stab championship, it weren't worth anything. Do they still do that? I don't know. No, I don't, I mean, they do. I don't know. It was, a good, it was like just a good fun competition that people yeah. take seriously. That would be that would actually be a trip next couple of weeks to go and have a dab trip down Dungeness. Well, I don't I... think the dab were about anymore like they used to be. Well, so, uh, one, someone commented on here just before you got here. Fella fished there last night and had a load of dabs. They've had loads in five. Have they? Yeah. We used to go and get them down. Um, where did we go? Whitstable it's, it's way, the, didn't it's we? It's the ASO this weekend, isn't it? That, yeah. Down at Ive. Yeah. There loads caught yesterday. Was it? Yeah. It, it, it usually just sort of after Christmas, you could really bag up on them, but now it's not. Yeah, I remember yeah. it, yeah. Oh, look, Joe had a couple of nice ones the other day, 30-odd centimetre ones. It, there's one or two about on the island still. Mm. Pete's uh, had, Pete's they've been doing boat. really well on the boats for them. They yeah. just had a dab chap, bad dab competition on the boats the other day. Biggest one was 30 centimetres, I think. How are we doing for battery? Yeah, we're doing all right at the minute. So yeah, not massive, Robert. I'd like a bigger one. I'm down Dungeness, mate. Loads of dabs, white and a dogfish. Oh, there you go. Oh. Nice one. Thanks, Paul. Is he actually fishing at this minute? <laughs> yeah. Can't be that good us. if he's watching us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on. How are we doing, Paul? Was that a bite, Stephen? That was a bite. What, on the crab? On the crab. I want it back then. Oh, that's that's amazing, Robert. He said he was micro fishing at, on, with lures, had a little pollock, and a pass come out of nowhere and took it, landed it nine pound. Nice. That's that's a, that's a brilliant way to catch it and all in it like that. Proper. Mate. Yeah, <laughs> so, what's your plans then, John? When you're out next? I don't know. Fairly booked up with other stuff in January, so it probably not be early February, I should imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Go on. That's a bite, Steve. Go on. 
Well, as soon as you're ready, yeah. we'll get down the beach, down at Brighton. Go and do a, go and do a place one. Because the thing is still shut as well. The pier's yeah, still shut. It. They must have got smashed up in the storm, hasn't yeah. it? It's been shut for a couple of months, I think. But it quite often shuts, doesn't it, in the, after storms? Yeah, and then it takes them ages to open it again. But then they've got no one down there to do it. I don't, I don't think they don't earn... I say they don't earn the money. They must earn the money. You know how busy that gets yeah. in piers. They must earn a fortune. Yeah, not the Yeah, no, yeah, well, not, yeah exactly. Yeah, and it's not, it's not cheap to pick a boat in there either. Not cheap at all. I bet we had not that, that never gets smashed up in the piers, though, does it? Well, it used to. Did it? Yeah, that's why it was cut, shut for so long. Well, no one fished it for three years. Oh, it's nice and warm in your coat, mate. That's lovely in there. People, I need one more like to get under it. I've got 99 people watching, 99 likes. Come on, let's have, let's have one more like. <laughs> I forgot to like it before. Ah, oh, John, he's, he's only gone and bloody forgot. Yes, we got it, 100. Yes, I have. Oh, all right. oh, 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 that is a bite, people. That is a bite. Drop me slap, you know, isn't it? Is it drop me slap? Is that under the crab? I don't know. I've got crab on one, haven't I, and rag on the other. Oh, yeah. But I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna jump on it just yet. I'm gonna bide my time. That was the first proper bite of the session, though. Is yours just gone? Stop, Steve. Yeah. It's a bit shit, isn't it? Hundred and four with a hundred, hundred and five because John's just liked it. Robert, I would, I would, I would think it, it probably was the crab bait. Yes, because Steve's had a bite on his one that he put out with a bit of crab on it, and I've had a bite that I've had. And to be honest, we, we used to fish the river April time for the eels. My PB silver eel was two pounds something from over the other side of the river, just up there. I actually quite like catching eels. A nice eel. Yeah, it was a lovely eel. That was when I was 18, I remember it, because my first daughter was due and we were saving up for a buggy and I started fishing with Shane Pullen from the Sea Angler magazine and he had a Ziplex and I wanted a Ziplex, so I spent her buggy money on buying a Ziplex. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, half of it and then the other half I waited till my 18th birthday and paid off the other half. Um, so, yeah. And it didn't go down well, but Lacey got a buggy in the end. She didn't know anyway, she was only tiny. <laughs> Is what it is. Um, are we getting fresh? This yes, we Paul, we do, but not from here, mate. Not from here. I know a bloke who knows a bloke who robs a bloke. I don't get many. Fifty a week, something like that. What eels? Oh. At this time of year, you do. I've caught plenty of place, John, but I, I can't cast the top eight. This time of year, having that bit of distance is definitely, definitely Oh, yeah, 100%. Up, which is why I like using that 15 100%. foot rod I've got with light line. It's easy to cast, and it just you can just belt it, and it goes a long way. Not, It's not obviously miles and miles, but it goes further than what I've cast my showed the other day with Lewis. I mean, he, he fishes 200 yards plus. Yep. Red lot for standard. Um, and he had a 50 centimetre. It's even overpowering the petrol. It's only my second can, guys. In an hour and a half, that's good for me. Hello. Come on, let's see a fish. Another thing that likes the that likes the crab is pouting. Pouting love a bit of crab. There's been loads in the river the past year. 
what, pouting. That was our stable diet of yeah. fish when, we, when I was a kid, yeah. pouting. This river was full of them. It don't matter what month of the year it was, there was pouting. You could always count on a pout. You know what happens when there's pouting in the river, don't you, Reese? No. What happens when there's pouting in the river? Jam rags as well. Seven-year cycle. Seven-year cycle. That was last year. You well. Huh? You let it develop. Did you get another There's one? Going on. Did it go again? Eh? Hey? Did it go? Did it go on again? I think so. I might. I think it's still there. I don't know. Probably mittens. Oh, we've got the most people. 106 people watching. 110 likes. Well done, everyone. Thank you. We've got to try and keep the likes more than the viewers. I'm not sure how that's possible, but you know. And if you haven't subscribed already, please, please do. Also, there is a video tonight at R past seven. A beach video. Well, there's 114 people watching now, lovely. Yeah, the meat's just gone in the oven in most people's houses. Yeah, exactly that, yeah. Everyone's just, everyone's just chucked the beef in the oven. An hour. So you've got an hour to sit down and do nothing. Pizza and dirty fries on a Sunday. Yeah, mate. That's shocking, mate. That is. No, it's absolute <laughs> codswallop. That is. It should be illegal to eat that sort of stuff on a, a Sunday. Sunday is roast day. Nothing's eating me rag, and the crab looks good and all. That's going again then. Going again. I'm gonna put it a little bit further this time. Oh. Look. See if anything happens out there. Yeah, I'll pick it at the minute. There's six metre plus in. Yeah. With this normally, I mean, I know it's died off a bit, but it, is, it has been pushing a bit more water in as well. If it was 10 degrees warmer today, John, I'd have been on your case earlier yeah. in the week. Let's get your boat out, John. The beds are clean. Oh, are they? No seal at all. Oh, no. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. It's the, the right, right the way through. It's, it's just cleaned it right off. Now would be the time to go home. Yeah. I ain't got one anymore. Well, I'm going to get another one now. This wing is up now. Yeah. It's too cold anyway for that. Yeah, you can't, you can't do that with your hands. It's so cold. Yeah. Again, being skinny, it's hard. It'll work harder. It's a woman. Yeah. <laughs> dig, dig deeper. <laughs> that tired one's pulled that right round already. Hi, Debbie. Oh, Joe's back. What's happening, Joe? Oh, you've missed it, mate. We've had cod, we've had pollock. We've had bass and I even saw a killer whale float past. A float past? I meant swim past. It wasn't dead, I promise. Morning, Scott. Like, like the whale on grain. Right, listen, the wife's watching now, so. Afternoon, boss. Everyone just, you know. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just because I didn't comment before doesn't mean I wasn't watching. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I only said nice things. Scott had dogfish and a pout on the Isle of Wight last night. What's the Isle of Wight fish like in the winter, Scott? Is it any good? Well, pout and the dogfish, I suppose that means no, but... Uh, well done, everyone. Them likes have gone through the roof. Thank you. I appreciate that massively. Pep 
Pepsi Max, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> it has gone 12 o'clock, you know. It's five o'clock somewhere in the world. I don't drink anymore. No, I don't believe that. I think that's no, a load honestly. of old tosh. Honestly. I know, tell a lie, I had a beer last night and a beer the night before. I don't drink anymore, but I had a beer last night and the night before. That's the first this year. Oh, it's only the fucking 12th of January or the 15th, whatever it is. Um, does the angle of the rod, angle of dangle affect the nod on the rod? No, it doesn't, Batch. Um, Joe, yes, I have had a little whiting. I cast that further because everyone was like, oh, why haven't you caught a whiting yet? So I cast that further and caught one. Uh, tangled, possibly this week, but I don't know because I'm fishing today. I'm fishing Tuesday, and um, the wife's watching, so you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know. I'd like to do some pike fishing on the river instead of a lake this time, but we'll we'll see. We've got some real cold weather coming up the next few days. Um, All the lakes will be lit up, won't they? Yeah. Tangled, yeah, Steve's got a load of pike already. Uh, got a load of white ember already for the pike that he's caught. And I've got a load of uh, roach and rudd and bits and bobs. But to be fair, they do like the mackerel, the joey. So yeah. I'll probably go up Medway Tackle Supplies, grab a couple of packs of them. We'll have some white in and... When we go up the river, we'll probably have a few rods each and have a different bait on all of them and see which one works the best. Different method or as many different, yeah. What's Oliver up to today, John? Hey? What's Oliver up to today? Anything well, fun? They wanted to go to cinema or something. Oh, yeah. I saw that Priscilla film. Not heard of it, not seen it. No, Elvis is... Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Was it all, all of you? Is this a family thing? Or? Yeah, so I'm going to have to shoot off it. Oh, yeah. that's fair. What one are you going to? The one over there or the one in Stroud? I've got, I've, got, I've got to go home first anyway. I can't leave him there. I've got to go. Oh, you can't take the dog, yeah. I'll stay in touch. Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Thanks for coming down. Start up my own channel. I think you should. <laughs> I think you should. I'll get you a few subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, John. John. <coughs> have fun at the field. You best take your um, best take your big wallet though, because it's going to be expensive if you're all going. Yeah. Bloody expensive. I think last time we was going to go to the cinema, me, Mrs. and the three, me, the Mrs. and the three kids. It was like eighty quid. It worked out. We didn't go. You can see why people would download all these fire sticks nowadays, yeah. can't you? And do it because it's a lot of money. Yeah. All the snacks and everything. Yeah, then yeah. Tommy, yeah, that's another fifty quid. You got ten, ten pound a head to get in. What, it's a ten pound head. When was the last time you went to cinema? It's more like 18 quid, Ed. 11 quid, I don't know, yeah. Well, I think we go on a Tuesday because the missus gets it through her car insurance. She gets it cheap. You can buy one, get one free on a Tuesday. Um, that's compared to the meerkat market oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. But, um, and her mum does it through O2. She gets O2 rewards or something. But um, it still works out bloody dear. Well, you're putting me off. I might have to get back late. <laughs> <laughs> get your money out. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you later. Take it easy, mate. See, see you later. later. Thanks Tom. for coming down, John. Good to see you. Stay in touch. Yeah, definitely, mate. Uh, Joe, what time I think they're going Tuesday? I am going to leave mine about half past nine, so I'll be down there for about 11. Might be earlier. Might, might leave mine about nine. Get down there for... Just wait for that traffic to go. Um, and Robert, how did I start my YouTube channel? Oh, I literally, I, I I was thinking about it for ages. Very and, badly. And didn't, and I'd done, I'll tell you what I'd done. I'd done a match. We done, I used to run matches down, down in the Midway. And I remember taking a load of pictures and I managed to put them all together as like a slideshow. And I put that on, on YouTube first and, and I'd just done that. And then I didn't, because I didn't want to talk on camera or anything like that or film myself because I thought it was a bit weird and I sound like a drip. Um, Anyway, I'll, 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 you film yourself as much as possible. Yeah, now I film myself as much as possible. I still sound like a drip, but I just got I passed the point of caring. Anyway, so I left it as that for about a year, and then I bought my first, my second sib, and I went out with my uncle. We had an amazing day place fishing at New Haven on the south coast, and 
I said to him, this would have made a wicked YouTube video because we caught so many plays that day. It was over 50 plays and there were some real nice ones, a couple of decent double shots. Um, well, anyway, I, I still didn't do it. The next time I went fishing, I said, well, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. And the, the first proper video I made was on Nathan's boat, actually. And I filmed us going out and I just sort of just filmed and didn't speak. And then, I don't know, I started filming a fish and I started talking and then I didn't shut up. And three years later, da da, here we are. Still haven't shut are. up. <laughs> no, I think that might actually be, this is probably the fourth year actually. Um, and it just it just went from there. And uh, we done a few lives, and obviously, I, I don't think people watch it for the fishing so much. Just we have a good laugh, and and every, a lot of people say it's for the banter because obviously me and Steve have a laugh, and Matt and all the other boys, Sam and whoever else has been with us over the years, um, we do just have a laugh. And then we well, it's all about, like, we went live. The fish are a bonus. We was on the Isle of Sheppey one night and we went live and Steve took the piss out of a blind man. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know what? It's never been the same since. Um, I did not. <laughs> you did. You took the piss out of a blind man for being blind. And at that time, Steve's little comment, it was um it was Wayne. Um and We love Wayne. Wayne was live, I've never met Wayne, Wayne before, us. or Joe. Joe's no, dead intrepid, Joe, he's commenting yeah. now. And um, Wayne commented something like, Wayne's YouTube channel was called The Blind Angler. So, well, we, we thought, well, maybe he's blind. I didn't know him then. And uh, he said, he, one of his comments was like, oh, come on, show us a fish. And Steve just- Are we gonna see some fish tonight? Well, yeah, are we gonna see some fish tonight? And Steve said, well, you ain't, are you? And I didn't know where to look. I had to literally run a hundred, well, walk a hundred yards away and fall on the floor laughing as well as having a go at Steve for being horrible but literally it just went off that night jo Wayne found it hilarious so did Joe so did everybody else involved oh. and it was probably the most memorable funniest night and thing I've ever seen on YouTube um, it, it went it went it went down an absolute storm and yeah it just went from there so we carried on doing the lives because when I'm yeah. live, I... They were fun. <coughs> Listen, all my videos, I am myself. 100% myself. Apart from, I really do try, try and tone the language down. When I'm live, it is what it is. Anything goes. Well, um, but yeah, <laughs> it, it's just... I, uh, yeah, I do... Um, yeah, we just it just went from there. And now I feel like I can't go fishing without making a video, which was a sort of a few months ago when I laid off for a bit. It, it it took the fun out of the going fishing, and I felt I felt like I was having to go fishing to please you guys, and and that was really why I do it. Obviously, I do it for myself as well. It's not like I don't like that, but I found myself travelling all up and down the country trying to get another video, trying to do something new, um, because there's so many people fishing on YouTube now, and we're all doing the same thing because we're such a really the country's such a small island. There's only a certain number, like when I go fishing at Chesil, everyone's going fishing at Chesil because it's the right time to go fishing at Chesil. That means there'd be 10 videos that week of people fishing Chesil trying to catch a cod or a ray or an eel or a hound or something. So there'd be 10 videos got that week and once somebody's watched one or two of them, they don't need to watch anymore because they're all the same. There's, There's a bite. bite. <coughs> um, so is it a bite or is it shit? So it, that's sort of what I, I, I was doing when I first started, I was on, I don't know, I'll tell you what, I got to two or 3,000 subscribers and I was getting eight or 9,000 views, which was great. But now I'm on 18,000 subscribers and the videos are only getting four or 5,000 views. I just feel like sometimes, what's the point? It, it was just a bit disheartening. And then I'd be, again, traveling the country, spending an absolute fortune because as we know, things are not cheap nowadays. Um, and yeah, all right, YouTube does pay a little bit of money, but when you're not getting the views, it doesn't. It's not the subscribers, it's the views that pay the money. Um, and that was always how I could um, sort of defend it to the wife and say, oh, I need to go to Wales this week because because I need to make a video. And it was, it was a, a, for, a, for a certain amount of time, it was earning quite a good bit of money, the channel. But um, It was helping us travel all over the country. It was helping us travel all over the country. <laughs> and, and, and people was Massively. also, obviously people like, um, like Kojak and Dave have sent a uh, super chat, which again helps out. Um, all right, on today's trip, it's, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't really make a difference because it doesn't cost anything to come fishing where we are. All right, it's a bite. I don't know whether to have that or not. No, we're going to leave it. Um, I still obviously massively appreciate it. Um, and, and obviously everyone's in the same boat. Everyone's skinned. Like, it, it just, 
It just wasn't cost effective to be doing it no more. And I felt that fishing places like this and local to me weren't ever going to make a good YouTube video that anyone would be interested in. But it actually turns out that quite a lot of people do like the, uh, the local fishing. So we started doing a few more of them. Go on, love. No, I don't know. Have I got it? No, I don't, no, I don't think. No, I missed it. No, okay. Oh, all that shit down there. I oh, know. We will go again. <coughs> sort that bit of crab out because it's covering the earth. I reckon the crab claws work. I'm gonna try one. How close are you in? Really close or not? Where's my... well, I'm gonna go there. Look at my leader knot. Yeah. I'm gonna drop one right, right on the rocks. Right my, in. My leader knot's halfway. Right. Right on the, on the rocks. Right on the, the edge. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the YouTube channel. I, I, I'm not moaning about it anymore. I'm just, it's just, it is what it is. That's why. You get a video when you get a video. Data. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I. I I wouldn't change some of the things we've done for the world, honestly. Oh, no. We have had some, uh, oh, I've, my God. I, 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 I've had some amazing adventures with some of the, some of my best pals and I wouldn't change them for the world. Places like, the first one has got to be Scotland because when we went to Scotland, I'd never been to Scotland before in my life. Um, and oh, I didn't see, I didn't see like the sights if you like, but we went to the Hebrides and I, I caught my skate. Um, and I actually, I, I, I've probably said before, but I cried that night. I cried like a baby with joy because that was, what a moment that was, landing a fish of that size, travelling all that way, the effort and the preparation and the planning me and Luke put into that trip behind the scenes, meeting, meeting, meeting up with each other in calves and it... Luke had a Filofax type folder thing. We was writing this down and writing that. Honestly, like, we went properly into it. It costs us an absolute bloody fortune. Um, but it's something that I would I would never change it. I was obviously gutted Luke didn't get one, but I think even if Luke had caught that fish and I hadn't, I would have still been buzzing. Obviously, I would have been gutted that I didn't get one, but it, well, what an experience. Um, but I come to the, I see so many, like Wales is an absolutely stunning place and I'll take the piss and sheep shaggers and all that. But again, it's a stunning place. We fished Dorset, Chesil. We've fished some amazing marks. We've fished some like amazing marks. We've seen some amazing sights, yeah. sunrises, sunsets, um, driving places we've driven through mountains and rivers and waterfalls and all that sort of stuff. Climbed over and walked yeah, across. Cl them. Yeah, climbed over, <laughs> walked across. Um, <coughs> it's absolutely amazing. And and But every time, it doesn't matter who I'm there with, whether I'm Steve, Luke, Matt, whoever I'm there with, I still think to myself, I wish my missus was here because she'd love this, and uh, and it's it's about time I started doing them sort of things with her, which is why the camper van will come into play in a few years' time. Um, and not only that, she likes to go on sunny, warm holidays, which um, which I've started doing as well now. I've got back on a plane because I hated flying, and I went Grand Canaria last year, which I hated going and coming back. I wasn't overly keen while I was there. From honest, it was far too hot and I got burnt. But it was nice to spend that week with the wife, you know. Um, and I'm not saying that because she's watching. I genuinely mean it. And it might be a bit melty to most people, but I, I, I don't care. Um, so, yeah, that's what I want to do. You're a cheese on toast kind of guy. <coughs> I am, yeah. <laughs> Plain cheese. Cathedral City. Um, yeah, I wouldn't honestly. I wouldn't change it for the world. I've got to thank. I've got to thank most of yous. I mean, whether you've been here from the start or not, because um, a lot of the stuff I've done would not have been. I would never have done it if I didn't have a YouTube channel. Never ever would I've travelled to them places because it just wouldn't have been financially viable to do it. And I mean, I think not last year. The year before might have even been the year before that. Just, just, well, uh, yeah, after lockdown and all that, me and Steve were going up north sometimes twice a week yep. to Whitby and Newcastle. We were fishing chisels twice a month. Costing hundreds of pounds. <laughs> but it was, the, the channel was paying for it then, and it, it was, it was, it was, it could be done. Um, but now it don't, so it can't, basically. <clears throat> Dude. 
Oh, quite Robert, I appreciate that, mate. Listen, I do a lot of work with my local tackle shop as well. And we, we always get kids and stuff come in that are, are looking for a cheap rod and reel or families that are coming in and, and they've never, their kids want to start fishing, but they've never done it before. But when they come in, they see the prices of fishing gear. Because all right, we all know you can buy cheap shit on the internet and crap, but you don't want to give a kid, if a kid wants to start fishing, I think it's an amazing thing. And you want to give them the best first experience possible. Because if it goes bad, they break a rod or whatever, they don't catch no fish, then they don't ever want to do it again. They go back to PlayStation. So if there is anything, mate, it, I would always donate it. I mean, if there's things in there I can use, then I'll use them. Or things in there the lads can use. But if I think it's going to help somebody else out start fishing, then, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I've got enough fishing gear. I've got more than I need. <laughs> don't get me wrong, it's all bad to shit, but that's how I like it. Because then that means I haven't really got to look after it too much. Like my rods at the minute are strapped in the side of my van. James, to answer your question, mate. Yes. Yes, I am. But my rods, my beach rods are actually strapped up. You can actually see my reel hanging up. You see it, Steve? Yeah, go on. See my reel up there hanging badly. Um, yeah. But that is pretty much no, we don't want to see my ugly mug. <laughs> we don't want to see my ugly mug. So yes, buddy. To be honest, now that is my that has become my main source of income. And I still do odd jobs with people like days work here, yeah, work do a bit for my father in law, stuff like that. Got any plans to get out in the sib soon? But I haven't got the sib anymore, bud. Um I've got plans to get out with my pal. Johnny was just here. He's got a sib, uh, a, a hydrus from Carlo as well. Um, I plan to get out of him a couple of times this year. Had some adventures on that as well. Yeah, we've had some, and that's the thing, yeah, oh, we've I mean. had the, the Sib, the Sib's been all over if the country with us. If it weren't for Carlo. <coughs> yeah, and Susie. Yeah, and Susie. I'm going to say his lovely wife, but they're not married. <laughs> I'm glad you said that, Yeah, not me. and they're not married. <laughs> and it winds them both up. They should get married. It's about time. But yeah, not even just fishing adventures. Uh, the Sib took me to places like, we were, like the NEC last year at Birmingham. Yeah. When I'd done the boat life show for a couple of days. That was amazing to meet loads and loads of people. Um, where else did we go? We'd done one down in Weymouth. All right, the show was absolutely terrible because the organisers were crap. But I met some subscribers down there. Had a great weekend away. Um, where else did we do? We'd done the big one in um, Farnborough a couple of years ago. That was really good. It was mainly, mainly carp gear. And at that time, I wasn't really interested in the carp. But it's one of them. I'd put one up the other day, James. Um, there will be more, yes. There will be more. Live um, update from the Asso. How is it? Um, I, boot, I sold the Sib. Um, because it, it wasn't something that I wanted anymore, if you know what I mean. It was the hassle of it. As much as I love fishing on it, it was everything else. It just got a bit, it was just getting a bit too much. Nice one, Robert. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, that's the best way to get hold of me if anyone wants to message me. Message me on Instagram. Because, uh... Jesus Christ. My Instagram is open for people to see because it's all about my fishing. Whereas things like my Facebook and stuff, it is private. That's my private life, if you like. Um, so, like, friends... I've got, I think, about 300 friend requests. But in the nicest possible way, if I don't know the person or I've never met them or I've never spoke to them, I, I just don't want people going through it, if that makes sense. That's my, that's the only bit of my life really that's personal was my Facebook, apart from obviously my close friends and family to see it. So Instagram is a way. Or there is the Facebook. Um, um, there is my Facebook um, fish hunter page, which you can anyone can follow. Got in, got my into scrapping as I can get a lot of copper and brass in my job. James, what'd you do? Are you a plumber? Um, yeah, nice one, mate. That's the stuff we all want. Thanks, Robert. I appreciate that. How's he getting on? Oh, it's cold. Well, I've got to get my charger because my phone's going to die. Hang on.
I know not many of you like it, but there'll be there'll be uh, there'll be a few more carping videos this year as well, especially in the summertime, because the wife quite likes the carp fishing. Well, she likes sitting there next to my carp rods with a bottle of wine or three, um, and I quite enjoy chilling out by the lake in the summer. You ain't got to worry about tides. You can do 24, 48 a week if you want. Um, Oh, good luck, Boo. Hope you do get some, mate. Um, I've also bought me my youngest daughter. I've bought her a first little fishing rod for Christmas, and uh, she's itching to get out and use it. But it's just it's the weather at the minute. It's just too cold for her. I want her to have. What's it like down there? Is it crystal clear? Is it not? Oh yeah, Robert, that'd be amazing, mate. That really, really would. That really, really would. Um, to be fair, something like that, I'll probably end up doing. I'll do a giveaway or something on the channel for it for for a young for a kid or something like that, or run it through the Instagram. Um, I'll just make sure that it actually goes to somebody that needs it. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Oh. Sorry. Oh, right. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, you put a post up saying, Has anyone got a jerry can? I've run out of fuel. Is that, is that? Ha! <laughs> Good fucking cock. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's sort of mugging him off saying, uh, Yeah, alright, well, but that's what we do then. We do something like that. We do a giveaway for a young angler, though. Tell him you ain't got time. Get off the phone and catch some bloody fish. I can't believe right, how dead it is here today, guys, fishing-wise. We normally always catch a few fish here. I might stick a bigger lead on and just get out there and have a go for some of them whiting. How many has he had down there? Loads. Yeah, 40 fish yesterday. What, all place? Oh, really? Yeah, he's had nine fish today, two size ones. <laughs> I really hope, I really, really hope a, a <laughs> lorry wipes him out on the hard shoulder while he's waiting for diesel. And I really mean that, and I know it sounds harsh, but I'll get easier. He's, uh, he's just going, oh, he's, he's camped down my spot. He's camped down my spot all week. What spot? What, Shoreham? I mean, he's at he's Brighton, James. He's been down Brighton all week. Yeah. No bad. Spot on, Robert. Thanks, buddy. Right, well, let's put a bigger lead on. Let's get some fish. Come on. It's a random thing to have in your tackle box. Plate. Yeah, but look at it. Oh, nice. Doggies. Yeah. Guess where that's going. <laughs> eBay. eBay. I've been wrapping on there literally since I sold the same yeah. I put on there. I've only used two worms since I've been here. So he's not doing very well down there, no? No. Is he catching fish, so just not yeah, sizable? Yeah, really, yeah. He's had, he's had nine today. Two size, two in size. Two that you can count. Yeah. Um, right, bigger lead, chuck it further. <laughs> I, could, I don't need the bigger lead to chuck it further, I just need it to go on the bottom. Yeah. That's far enough, I think. I don't want to stick it right out there. I think, I, I know what, I went... What rod is that? Uh, Darwell, Black Widow. Oh, is it? Three and a half pound test. Oh, three and a half. I've got, I've got a matching pair of them, haven't I? Oh, they're, they're pages, cartloads. Yeah. Until I snap them. 
before you snap them. Yeah, so I want another one of them I Shimano too. Yeah, what's that, five ounces you just put out? Four, yeah, five, yeah. Oh, five. yeah, I could put six in that. Yeah, yeah, it is. 100%, mate. Do you know They're only 35 quid to buy new. Yeah. I was going to keep, I was going to use them if I had the third, but I ain't got the third, so. But I have now got four of them reels, so I need, I need to get the match. Funny, there's spot. nothing on our shores that are fucking. No. I will be using Swearing. I will be using them for hounds. Yeah. If they're still not snapped. Yeah. Because they're, they're all only 35 oh, yeah. quid rods. Normally when I say it belongs to the page now, I'll, oh. I'll break it. Look, nearly. Oh, arse has just nearly broke my box. Ah. Come on then the fish, see if we can get a white in. It's all gone a bit quiet. Yeah, isn't it? Even the goals are shut up. It's because it's like minus 87 here. I'm, I'm bloody starving and all. I wonder if I've got any food in that COVID van of mine. Scrap. Steve, I reckon you should stick one out a bit further. Not. Properly hit it. Properly, Properly hit it. But somewhere fucking down there, so it don't come right up around me. Just get a get. A, oh, you should just bring in a cut of white until these viewers have got some fish to see. Because they are out there, definitely. You just got to get them out there. Hey, uh, he's bringing that five ounce grip lead. You know. I've never put one of these on here before. Have you not? No. Oh, I'll man up. That. Steve's so going to catch us all the way. Are we, uh, is everyone still there? Because I'm hoping that people are still. Someone drop a comment, any, any type of comment, just to make sure it's still working, guys, because I ain't had one for ages and I've got a feeling that maybe you might all just be bored, but. Yeah, I don't think I think there's something wrong here. Oh, I don't know. There's still people watching, but the comments ain't coming down. Any admin watching, do a comment. Oh yeah, it's all good. Alright, sweet. Cheers people. Thank you. Oh, Robert, don't be silly, mate. Thank you. You ain't got to say, you ain't got to say thank you for sending me a reel to say to give away. Do you know what I mean? I appreciate that, and so will whoever wins it. <sighs> nice one, thanks everyone. Comments are working. Oh, I've got up. Steve, come mash it out to my feet. <laughs> I've only had these socks on for three weeks, they don't smell that bad. 
I've turned them inside out twice. You bait my hooks, I'll massage your food. No, it's, yeah, you're all right. I don't want to touch your wet worms. <laughs> you want me to touch your wet feet? They're not wet, they're just slightly sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Those socks. Yeah. You need to leave them under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're crusty. <laughs> oh, he's a filthy boy, he is. Hi Chuckle, how are we doing mate, alright? He's pretty quiet over here, isn't it? Yeah. Sunday as well, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone's at church. Yeah. Robbing the lead off the roofs. <laughs> See that? <laughs> I've gone, what? That shop in Gravesend. What one? Tackle shop? No, no, it's a, a bag shop. Oh, um, right. It's been done three times in three years. What? Stolen? The lead. They've been up on the roof and done the lead. They've so what they've done is someone's gone and stole the lead, so they've paid out to have the lead replaced. Yeah. And then it's and happened then again. They've nicked it again, and then he's had it all redone, and then they've nicked it again. Unbelievable. Yeah. Do you really might use rubber this time? <laughs> and not be an absolute bell end. Do you know what? I'm, I'm warm, well, warm enough everywhere else. I've got cold feet, but I keep rubbing my knees, thinking that it's going to warm my toes up. <laughs> but it might travel down my legs. We was going to stay here till three, guys, but I reckon this might end up being just sort of just gone too, Steve. What do you reckon? Yeah. Like another half hour, 40 minutes. Yeah. Because there ain't no fish being caught. And I. I've never had frostbite, but I've seen pictures and it we, don't look good. Yeah, I was going to say, we could um, go and catch the eye tide a bit closer to home. Oh, we'll I think for, it, for an hour. if I pack my gear up, I don't fancy unpacking it. No, we don't really need to pack it up. We just leave it set up as it is and just break them down in half and pull them out the other end. No. Fair enough. It's mainly my feet, mate, and that's, oh, yeah. that's walking around in grass. We're going to have a pipe session this week. Rad to try and catch a pipe at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure sure James will be wanting to go out tomorrow night or something. Yeah, he's already said about Wednesday. There you go. Are you clipping that down? I am. Cool, you really are going for it. Steve's clipping down his rig. Oh, Robert, I'm, I've got thermal clothes and I've got warm boots in the front of my I van. I'd say the boots are in there. But I just can't be bothered to put them on for like another half an hour. Just going to have to deal with it. Oh. Man, I, oh, so come show us that rig quickly. So I've said to Steve, can you catch us a white in? And he has properly gone all out. Lugged the rag tip maddies, look, clipped it down. Look at that for a rig, look. You watch him snap off now. Let's <laughs> <laughs> watch the cast. Watch the cast. Look at the level of concentration in his face. Are you actually watching me? Yeah, he's even stuck his tongue out, look. <laughs> I said put it out, not flick it. Oh, he's put it out straight as well. That means it's going to end up a sump here. Oh, dear. I think I've got a date with a sofa when I get home. Just me and her for about That's an hour. A little, a little <laughs> snooze. <coughs> That's when you know you're old, when you fall asleep on the sofa. Oh, 
What's happening, Simon? Shout out to the North Coast specimen hunters in Northern Ireland. Well, the, white in, the river is dead. There's no whiting in it no more. There must be a killer whale up here eating all the whiting. All the seagulls are just getting fatter. Hello, Andy. Oh, I missed you too. Where you been? How dare you leave the stream? It's like watching paint dry. At least it's warmer. What, watching paint dry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. But it looks quite nice on the other side of that camera, doesn't it? Bloody ain't, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. I had to walk the dogs. No excuses, Andy. I thought you'd have bought a treadmill or something for them, because that's the sort of bloke you are. <laughs> you could just imagine you doing your balcony life. Walking the dogs on the treadmill. Tappy or was it a, or was it oh your ridge just hit mine because you cast right. too close to me? I might be happy, eh? Yeah, oh, I don't know, I'll be underneath you, won't I? So you'll be all good. Fucking done more like that. I'm looking forward to my roast dinner. Slow cooked beef. Homemade Yorkshire puddings. The best roast potatoes known to man. You don't like veg though, do you? I like potatoes. Like parsnips? No. It's just like sweet potato. No. David, uh, I've been to Eastbourne. I went to Eastbourne and tried Eastbourne the other day. I've really, really messed up. Um, I'm going to Brighton on Tuesday. Um, I planned these trips like a week and a half ago because uh, I see the weather, the long range weather was perfect for them. And I see there's already been a few people down there getting a few. Um, so yeah, I should be, I'm down there Tuesday because I'm down that way for work. Um, so yeah, I am, I am going down there. Plenty of small ones about, so I hear.
Good luck, David. I will um I'll probably fish Brighton a few times in the, over the next couple of weeks. I'm down there quite a lot. Um So I probably will fish from as much as I possibly can. Desperately trying to get that fifty centimetre one. That's what I want. Uh have I got any plans for tuna this year? I take it that's what you mean, Robert. Oh at the beginning of the year, I say I'm going to go and catch tuna every year, but I just, just never get round to it. Um, I would like to, but we'll have to see what happens throughout the year. I've got two holidays booked this year, so they've got to come first. Um, they're both pretty much paid for. I've just got to get the spending money together. Um, but the price of a tuna trip is <laughs> its a weekend away with the missus and kids, so it's like priorities, you know. Um, most boats are a grand a day split between four of you so it's like two and a half plus traveling and accommodation because they're nowhere near me they're all sort of Ch Devon and Cornwall um, so yeah it's an hard one and it's a lot of money on something that's not guaranteed as well you know I know most of them do pretty well they all know what they're doing but I'm going to North Wales with with the kids in a caravan for a week near Angle Seaport with my dog and then me and the wife are having our first ever holiday together to Lanzarote for a week with no kids <laughs> Babies. <clears throat> My lead's on the trot, so it's pulled it out. I can't believe we've caught one lousy little whiting. That is bad. That's fishing, I suppose. That is fishing. <clears throat> At least you've got a video to watch tonight, guys. Nice guy. No more Mr. Nice Fish Hunter. This time I mean business. I'm gonna say Are you alone Tuesday? Am I alone Tuesday? Yeah. Uh, Regan. Okay. Why's that? So you are alone Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm not coming home. No, no. If that makes sense? Yeah. Right, that's going to end up right up river, but. Last 10 minutes. Why are you coming or what? Don't know. Be a late one though, that's the only problem. Early start, late finish. Yeah. Yeah. All day. All day. And the biggest, your biggest problem is going to be bait.
got six score blacks in the freezer. We got six score blacks in the freezer. Yeah, I suppose. So it's only because I've got I've got two score blacks that go from the other side, which is what I was saving them for. Um, six score blacks in the freezer. But yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's I common. think there's uh, to be fair, there's probably more than that, there's probably more like ten squirrel blacks in the freezer. Yeah. Well they're they're, they're um yeah if you want to come, just now. Probably gonna leave about nine ish in the morning. Alright. Get home about nine ish at night. Mm. Maybe later. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Um but yeah, you know it is. Bed time anyway. Nice hot bath waiting for me. I'm gonna have a nice roast dinner. Get in. Fuck the bath. We'll have that later. Meat feast pizza and dirty fries. Dirty fries. Dirty good fries. afternoon and good yeah, luck. Mate. Thanks, drowning worms. That's what we've been doing all afternoon. We haven't been catching fish, we've been drowning worms. Fair play to you, Francis. <clears throat> We're, we're not going to be here much longer today, mate. Probably another 10 minutes and we're going to shoot off because it's cold and... Pants. Pants, yeah. It's really bad <laughs> fishing. I, honestly, I've, I've, I haven't known it to be this bad for ages. In two, a lot. two on the bounce for me. That hasn't happened in God knows how long. I'm fishing with one rod. Steve's with two. Five hooks. That's a dangler. I've got, uh, I've got a busy day tomorrow. And then, um, and then, uh, busy day Tuesday, Thursday I'm at the auctions, seeing what bargains up. Oh, I love, I love that. That's so much fun. Afternoon, awesome fishing man. You nearly caught up in mine. What? <laughs> Your lead's nearly caught up. Yeah, hey, I probably caught it. We'll probably read them in together. Thanks everyone, guys, for those that are watching, those that have been watching um, today. It's uh, it's been nice to actually have have a few people on there. You know, we've been around the hundred mark most of the most of the thing. We'll be on there, 90, 89 people. So it's pretty good, yeah. pretty good. Uh, no, well, we had I had one tiny little whiting earlier. Um, If I'm honest, I thought we would have seen a few small schooly bass and stuff, possibly even a flounder, but it's been dire today. Really bad. Um, I didn't think it'd be this bad, if I'm honest. I really didn't. It can only be the northerly winds. It can, it can only be the northerly winds. Or, well, no, we, have, we haven't had a lot of rain this week, but the last couple of weeks we've had a hell of a lot of rain. And the river, yeah. up river, has been flooding, so I've got a feeling they may have opened all the gates and there could be a hell of a lot of fresh water in the river. Yeah. Especially up this end, because we're quite far up. Down the bottom end, where we go, where we've been, down at Copper House, where we fished and we had them bass right. the other week, you that might be all right. Quite far, there's always water there, isn't there? Yeah. So, I mean, there's always some solidity to it. It's never going to be... Completely Thanks, Casters, mate. I appreciate that. Yeah, it was, to be honest, it was Steve's idea to do a live. Um, I say I haven't done a live for a long time. But um, it's been good to have a chat with everyone. Why not? Oh, Steve's not having a roast. He's a wrong and he's having a pizza and dirty fries because that's just disgusting. It's I had like. A roast yesterday. That's against my religion. I had a roast yesterday. Um, I am having. Beef, not roast beef. Oh, I'm having slow cooked beef because it's the best way. It literally falls apart with homemade Yorkshire's, nice fluffy roast potatoes, and then whatever else she cooks to go with it. Um, but I don't like vegetables, as you can clearly see by the size of my belly. Um, if I'm at home at my mum's, then I'll have to eat them because otherwise I'm not allowed to get down from the table. But at my house, I'm the boss. Secretly, I'm the boss. And if I don't want to eat my peas and carrots, then I won't. All right. Um, and that's how it is. But no, I do like a roast. My, uh, 
I, I'm really fussy. I hate it. I really do hate it because I see some foods and I think, God, that looks nice, but I just, I, I don't even want to put it in my mouth. It just, no. Um, I, I put a lot of things in my mouth, but yeah, you know what I mean. Steve, stop being childish for God's sake. Um, but my, my missus is actually a really good cook. Um, really good cook. I think she quite enjoys cooking and all because I don't cook nothing. I think she really likes washing up because I, I don't like doing that I, either. I do all the cooking from scratch at home. That's why Steve's got dirty pizza <laughs> and fries tonight, today. I mean, yeah, if I had to cook my own food, it'd be, um, well, it'd, it, it'd be ham sandwiches <laughs> and cheese sandwiches, probably. I, I, could, I could chuck the old, old tin of beans in the microwave, but it's about your lot. Failing that, I'd just ring the chip shop and get bad sausage and chips <laughs> delivered twice. Mickey Rambo, what you got? <coughs> Muddy puddle angler, no, it's only because uh, Mrs. Fish Hunter was standing behind me the whole time. I was going, do that, do that, do that. No, I, um, I, I'm not saying I can't cook. I'm not an idiot. Obviously, I, well, most of the time I am, but no, I can cook. I just, I just won't cook. I hate it. Like, if I lived on my own, I would literally live on chips from the chip shop and bread. Um, rolls, rolls, yeah. Because I'm, it's, it's not. I'm just lazy, and I don't mind admitting it. I am far too lazy. I don't care how hungry I was. I would just go and make a sandwich because I can do it 30 seconds flat and Love eat chip it. Chip butty. Yeah, and not only that. That divides some opinions. What? Chip butty. No, it's a butty, and that's. I bet they call it others. There's no. There is no. No, there's no. There's no opinion. It's a chip butty, and that's chip it. Chip butty. None of this barn bollocks. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, or cob. What's a cob? It's a roll. It's the nasty end of it. Steve Sharp, because you're gonna get me. You're gonna get me demonetised or lose a lot of subscribers. It's a chip bite, and that's that. Um, or a chip roll if you have it in a roll. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm just lazy with cooking. I really am, because I don't like it. I find it boring. Why wait for something to cook when you could just have a sandwich and it's done? You know. Yeah, but even with a sandwich, though, you're boring. Why? Then why? What's up with cheese? <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing for? What's plain, wrong with a cheese sandwich? Plain cheese. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with a plain cheese sandwich. <laughs> Drowning worms, nice, mate. Bit of pork shoulder, lovely. Um, cheese, cheese, yeah. Tomato, salad, no. beetroot. No, why would you... What, that's ruining it. But that's also... Like there's you, you there's might as no well rabbit, cook. There's no rabbit food in there. If you're putting all of that in a sandwich, you might as well cook a roast because it takes about just as long. I'm having a rack of barbecue ribs today. Would have done a roast, but my boiler's broken, so I've got no water. I'll wash up less boil. Do you know what? If I could afford it, right? There's these things, little weird things, right? That I would always do. I always said if I become a millionaire, first thing I would do is I would buy socks. socks. Right? I would have a brand new pair of socks every day, and then that, that night I wouldn't wash them. I'd take them off and I'd put them in the bin, and I'd have another brand new pair because there's no better feeling than putting on brand new pairs of socks. And I think I've got until the 21st of this month because I think I've got 21 brand new pairs of socks for Christmas from from the mother-in-law, my mum. <laughs> and then once the new socks have run out, I've got to start wearing ones that she's washed. And I love. I've got a brand spanking new pair of socks on from this morning, and I love it. There's no better feeling. So I would always do that. If I become a millionaire, I will buy myself a pair of socks for every day. I know it's wasting it and it's killing the environment and I know some polar bears are dying somewhere, but in the nicest possible way, I like You're brand new socks. You're the same with your fucking electric cars. Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> and um, another thing I would do is I would buy paper cutlery. And you know like you know, like you can buy them extra big um, aluminium tins for, for cooking your turkey in? I'd buy them and all, so there's no washing up. I'd use plastic knives and forks and I'd just throw it all in the bin at the end of the day. Bollocks for washing up, no. <laughs> I mean, as it is now, I'm married, so I don't need to, I don't need to worry about that, because, but <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm the same with condoms, just no socks. Handy, <laughs> you know how to come from handy. <laughs> you can keep them, mate. It's like having a bath in your wellies. No, thank you. Steve's struggling really in his fight. I think all men, I don't care who you are, and I think all men have got things about them that is lazy. You might be the type of man that helps out around the house and things like that, 
and um, and and fair play. Um, but in some other way, you'll be lazy with something else, and I'm lazy with that sort of thing. I'm not the sort of person that goes, oh well, you're you're the woman, and you should do the washing up, and you should do the cooking, and I should go to work. I just it ain't the 1950s, it ain't the 1950s <laughs> but I do think that you're the woman nice and you should do the washing up and cook the dinner. It's just <laughs> it's it's one of them. It's one of them. The last thing I want to do after being out for 14 hours a day is go home and have to cook a dinner. And I don't. And again, I don't expect my wife to cook me dinner because I'm a fussy git, and she does obviously. But if I get home at say nine o'clock at night from being out fishing or scrapping, I don't expect there to be a dinner on the table. One because there wouldn't be anyway. But two, I just don't expect. I just don't expect it. So I will just have a sandwich, or I'll have a portion of chips while I'm out. It's one of them things. It's one of them things. But boy, if that washing up ain't done, she's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Andy, you are a wrong one. There's always someone to lower the tone. <laughs> Francis, you're right about the 1950s is better. There was probably some fish about in the 1950s and all. Yeah. <coughs> are you baiting it up? No. Nope. <laughs> Taking off the worm that I've been topping up since we got it out. I don't blame you. Right, guys, on that note, Steve is uh, packing his rod away, and I am just about to do the same. So, thanks everyone for watching. Much love. Much love. I really, really do appreciate it. There's a video tonight at half past seven. Great for you to see us. Yes, it is. It's been good to have a chat. <laughs> it really has. I'll give you a message on Instagram. Nice one. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate that. Again, big shout-out to Kojak for the super chat. I really appreciate that, mate. OG. OG, Kojak. Um, I don't know if he's still there. I will see you all very, very soon. Thanks, casters, mate. All the pez to you as well, dude. See you all on the next one.